Okay, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and get my shuffle in while y'all come in. Y'all let me know if y'all can hear me. Let's see. Okay, so we about to get it in. Y'all let me know y'all can hear me, okay? Hey. Okay, I know you in here. Okay, source is none. Okay. <laughs> You so funny. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you be killing me with that. <laughs> oh my goodness. As soon as I hit like got up to press the live button, I immediately like got a stuffy nose. I don't know why. Like I immediately got congested. So maybe some of y'all got or just recovering from a cold, allergies, or something. Just like immediately. Okay, you guys can hear me. Okay, we gonna get this started. Y'all know I don't like to wait too long to get into the reads. Okay, they they're always doing it. Sources, it's it's nothing. It, it's never nothing. When I tell you, I'm never worried about that. I ain't never worried about that. It's nothing. They always. Let's see what is going on. Y'all know it's a collective reading. Okay, so y'all know to take what resonate and discard the rest. Yes, they always fail. Hey, Elevated Taurus. Hey, Nina. Destiny. Blue Moon. They always fail. Okay, you guys. Let's see. Let's see what's going on. Ooh, showing out. Damn. Showing out. Showing out. Putting on a show. We got gaslighting you in reverse. Who we? Somebody, uh, first and foremost, somebody's acting like they don't care. Okay, this could be somebody's DM acting like they don't care. This somebody is straight up showing out. They was like being cold. This person could be in their feelings right now. This person could be looking for themselves with find myself being right here. This is like. Somebody is acting like they don't care about what happened, but this person clearly cares. They clearly care. This person can't even gaslight themselves to even pretend like they don't care because it's starting to show on their face. This is also somebody who cares a lot about what a particular person thinks. What a particular person thinks is best for them, whoever this is. But whoever this is, this could be somebody DM. This DM... It's like he can't even gaslight himself anymore at all. This DM finds himself in a situation where he wants to get out of. He doesn't want any attachments to whatever this situation is. Because I'm looking at have my kids in reverse. When, he, when I first seen that we have my kids in reverse, this is like, I don't want anything long term. I don't want anything permanently connected to you. Whoever this is, this DM, he could be in another contract. He could be in another contract. He's looking for himself, period. Okay? And then we got somebody. Mm, oh, I'm going to say that. <laughs> the way that came. Because what I just picked up was like a totally separate energy. Like totally separate. Of somebody being upset that they can't even gaslight someone anymore. Like totally separate. Yeah, this person can't engineer situations no more. So let's see what's going on. Okay. We in here. Yes, let's see. Let's see what's going on. Oh, you know what? On my last live stream, I pulled this energy of someone who really cares about their public image. But it's like I'm tapping on this say on this same energy, but this is so honed in on a specific person. This is one specific karmic energy. 
And it's like, whoever this person is, they're pretending like they don't care that they got exposed. This is somebody who, it's like this person could, they could know they're exposed, but they're pretending like they didn't get exposed. This person is so mad. Look at this. Huh. We got public image and showing out. This person is so mad. Look at that, exposed. This, it's like somebody, mm, somebody is trying their hardest to save face. This person know that they're exposed. They know that for a fact that they're exposed, but it's like they're putting on this facade and it just looks ridiculous. It looks ridiculous. Look at this. We got fierce temper. I told you this person is upset. Look at that. We got secret past in reverse. This person is upset because they got exposed. But they're literally out here acting like they didn't get exposed. Almost, wow. <laughs> like, almost like the exposure is going to go away. <laughs> like it's going to go away because you're pretending like you didn't get exposed. This is somebody who can't gaslight someone anymore. Ooh, this could be... Whoever that masculine energy was that I was pulling on when we first started this reading, this could be somebody that can't gas like that masculine anymore. Who come through. <laughs> come through. Child, let's see. What y'all got going on? Hey, lives. Hey, cutie pie. Yes, all they lives been exposed. This, this person is, is so ridiculous because whoever this person is, they're, they're exposed, like straight up. Like people already know what this person been doing. They already know what this person been up to. This person's image is out here. Like they know, they know. But even with that, they're still putting on like a front. This person is exposed and they know it. Wow. <laughs> they can't even guess like a DM anymore. Let's see. What else is going on, Spirit? Oh, look at that. We got a karmic with naughty thoughts. This naughty thoughts did not, listen, this didn't give me nothing like lustful with that naughty thoughts. With karmic and naughty thoughts, this is giving me, there's a karmic feminine energy that is, she's like trying to whip up something. She's thinking of doing something very nasty, very negative. This is somebody who's, whoever this energy is, she's reacting to the fact that she's been exposed. She's in her she's in her feelings with fierce temper. She's pissed. She's pissed. Come through. Let's see. Somebody could be trying to convince somebody to go to counseling with them. That could be a masculine refusing this or something like that. Somebody's trying to work something out. Let's see. Let's see. What else is going on? Who we? Mm-mm-mm. This person, now it's like they know they exposed. They still keeping up a front, but they trying to cook up something. It's like to, it's almost like this person wants to deflect from their exposure. Yeah, they trying to have a new start. Look at that. We got a spell. Didn't I say somebody was cooking up something? Somebody was cooking up something. Look at that. We got a spell and we got a new start. It's almost like this person... Oh, so they can't come through spirit. Whoever this energy is, there could have been, a, there could be a DM who started breadcrumbing a karmic energy or something like that. Or there's a karmic attachment that felt like she couldn't control a DM anymore. And she started cooking up something. This is somebody who's already been exposed. It's almost like they're trying to do my control because if you're already exposed, you're exposed, baby. Like, what are you going to do? Wipe somebody's memory? This person, oh, it's almost like they want to punish somebody for exposing them. Because they can't have a new start. They can't get a new start. Yeah, come through, spirit. Okay. Huh. Yeah. Let's see. Let's get this. Let's, no, let's get this first. And then we'll get the tail. What's that that fell? Huh. Wheel of Fortune? The wheel in reverse. This is definitely karmic energy. Mm-mm-mm. No wonder they want a new start. No wonder. Come through. <laughs> no wonder they want a new start. <laughs> yeah, they've been exposed. 
We know what it is. Look at this. Didn't I say somebody could have been in a contract? We got contracts and we got the devil. Come through. <laughs> Capricorn energy. We got contracts and the devil. Somebody could be in a love contract with the devil. Mm. Or somebody could have mistaken a love contract. Yeah, look at this. Damn, who is in all these contracts? Whoa. We, got a, we had a contract with the devil. We had a love contract. Now we got a third party contract. Somebody has, oh, that's what it is. Somebody got a bunch of soul ties. Come through, spirit. Somebody got a bunch of soul ties. Oh, wow. That's why they can't. That's why something won't change for them. With this angel in reverse, something won't change for them. Somebody got a bunch of soul ties. This could be a masculine. Oh, that's why it's so hard. That's why it's so hard. Look at that. We got thorns, angel in reverse. This thorns heart talks about a painful sacrifice. There's a painful sacrifice here. We got a masculine with multiple, multiple. I'm getting three soul ties. Whoever this masculine is. There's a karmic energy who is exposed. She's so exposed that she's literally pretending like she's not exposed. She's trying to do a spell to like roll back the wheel. Or something like that. Something is so hard right now. Somebody feels like they're being sacrificed. This person is showing out. Yeah, this is somebody that was trying to manifest some kind of pain. Look at that. We got manifestation. And we got angel in reverse again. This is somebody that was trying to say you lose your protection or something like that. It could. This person could have been trying to put you on a karmic wheel. Tie you up in a karmic contract. Or something like that. But something something is just not working here. Yeah, it's like this person, it's like they could have dealt with some kind of blockage. They couldn't do this. Somebody could have tried to create some kind of soul tie with you. And it's like they're facing some kind of blockage. So then they went and tried to remove your protection. This is ridiculous. Now this person, what I said, look, they were trying to remove your protection. And then they started experiencing nothing but delays. Delays, delays, delays. They could not do this. Well, this could be somebody that this DM has a soul tie with. Come through, spirit. Yeah, there are other people that were interfering in your business, in your contract. Somebody could have gotten into an agreement with one of these people. There was way too many people involved. Yeah, look at that. We got this owl card. This talks about deep shadow work. It also talks about witchcraft, magic, and learning hard lessons come through we got dice in reverse somebody was gambling this karmic feminine yeah that's why she can't move nowhere she can't go anywhere we got stepping stone in reverse she can't move somebody could like end up like debilitated or something like that somebody can't move yeah they were doing too much it look it's like she's trying to rebuild herself we got rebuilding Stepping stone in reverse again. She can't rebuild herself. She can't rebuild herself. Wow. Come through. Let's see. What else? What else is going on? I'm telling you, it's a karmic wheel. Look. Look at what's revealing itself. Look at that. Round and round in reverse. We already had the wheel in reverse. Now we got round and round in reverse. This person is stuck on some kind of repeat cycle. A very painful repeat cycle. Yeah, it's, it's over for this person. With death energy here, we got this um this third party card is here. This witchcraft magic card is here. It's like something is something is a sacrifice. Something is a dead end. Wow. Let's see. What else? What else? Give me exposed and tempered. Somebody's so mad. This could be an abusive person. They're so mad that they've been exposed as an abuser. They're so mad that they've been exposed as a narcissist. This person is so mad. Yeah, this person is mad because they can't rebuild themselves. They wanted to turn themselves into a star. Yeah, somebody wanted to turn themselves into a star by using your energy. Somebody could have been pulling on your energy with magnetic. Somebody could put on your energy to try to turn them into a star. We're clarifying expose and temper. Look at that. 
rebuilding and a star. Somebody is trying to rebuild themselves into a star, into a healer or something like that. This person is learning a hard lesson. This could have been somebody that was trying to mess with your health or something like that. Ugh. Or your mental health. Let's see. Yes, that is crazy. This is a soul tie that's doing this mess right here. It's a soul tie. This ain't nothing but a soul tie. We got love and look. And the hidden. The hidden in reverse and love. This is all under exposed and temper. This is somebody who was very angry that there was a masculine hiding feelings for you or something like that. Whoa. Okay. Child, let's get into some tarot. This person running around here exposed, knowing damn well they exposed, but they just going to pretend like they're not exposed. They know. They know all the information that's out. With the Eight of Wands, they know all the information that is out. Eight of Cups. It's like this person is like trying to turn their back to all the information that's out. This is crazy. This is crazy. This person is nervous as hell. They don't want anybody to confront them about this information. What they were doing. This is definitely somebody that was into spell work, witchcraft. This is somebody that's so mad that they've been exposed. They could have just recently got exposed. Look, I mean, when I tell you they exposed, we got big sun, Leo energy. This person is exposed. It's like, damn. <laughs> like, they just literally acting like that's not what's going on. Okay. Yeah, now somebody's afraid. I'm telling you, this is almost like somebody's afraid to come outside. Look at that. We got the nine of wands and the fool. It's like this person is afraid to come outside because the truth is outside. It's like the truth is here. Somebody knows that they're exposed and they're so afraid. <laughs> they're so afraid. And then at the same time, people could be asking this person questions about what's going on because they know. That's what's so crazy about this energy is the fact that other people already know. Now it's like this person is afraid to come out or something like that. Whoever this karmic attachment is, baby, energy can be past, present, or future. When she gets exposed, she is not going to come outside. It's like you're going to see this. This person is going to practically disappear the way that, the way that they are going to handle this. They're going to practically disappear. Like, you just, like, it's going to be like, poof, where the hell is this person? Yes, that's the, the missing occultist. Oh, like, baby, <laughs> I cannot with this. <laughs> Somebody is so afraid because the truth they came out. They just trying to hide. This person don't know what to do. This person could be having money issues. This person could be having money issues with the nine of pentacles in reverse. The truth is out about this person not being able to take care of themselves. Somebody's small. Let's see. We got temperance energy. This person could suffer from some kind of imbalance. Especially with the page of cups being here. This could be a person who also drinks as well. Because I'm also up underneath this gamble in reverse, this dice in reverse, exposed, fierce temper. This could be a person who drinks as well. Yeah, somebody could have a lover that is a drinker or like an addict or there's some kind of addiction here. Could be this king of cups. Child, let's see. <laughs> What's going on? Big, big Sagittarius energy. Yeah, this per I'm telling you, this person... Oh, it could even be a group of them. This group is exposed. Look at this. We got the Nine of Cups in reverse. Three of Pentacles. Baby. Somebody, they trying to rebuild after not getting what they were looking for. These people could be getting um, some kind of punishment. With the Queen of Swords here, you could have spoke the truth about all three of these people. You could have known that somebody here is an addict or has a, some kind of drug abuse or some, some kind of addiction here. You could have also known that somebody here is um, putting on a front. I mean, you got to be faking and fake because we have showing out and public image over there. 
And some, and then there's another energy here that just got a whole bunch of soul ties. Let's see. Somebody did not get what they wanted. Okay, let's start clarifying. Baby, what y'all talking about? Let's see. Okay. Who? What that card with? Okay, that was the four swords. All right, let's see. Yeah, nine of wands, somebody struggling in a connection. Or you were struggling in a connection with a soulmate, Divine Feminine. Look at that. Ten of swords in reverse. Nine of wands and the lovers. Ugh. Big Gemini energy. Okay. So you could have felt like you had to protect yourself from your soulmate. Oh, so you felt like this was a karmic soulmate. If for you to feel like you had to protect yourself, you had to guard yourself. Because this looks like you were struggling here. Lovers, nine of wines. I see you doing a great job here. Oh, you had to isolate yourself. Okay. Ten of swords in reverse and a hermit, Virgo energy. Seven of wands, you had to fight for yourself. Something about this soul, something about this connection kept you on the defense a lot. A lot. You definitely felt like you had to guard yourself from this masculine, whoever he is. Oh, hold on, let me get this. Okay, you guys. That was the four of swords. Yeah, you had to protect yourself to heal. Period. Okay, you mean? That's my cat, y'all. She walked right up on us. Yeah, you had to protect yourself to heal from this masculine. Yeah. Huh. Look at that. So that you could get justice. Wow. So, that, okay. Big Libra energy. High priestess. Okay, so karma kicked in. You had, okay, so Divine Femi, you had a contract with a karmic masculine here. This could be your DM, okay? He's looking karmic, Okay. So not so, not so DM. Take it how it resonates, okay? He could just be a very low vibrational DM. But you had a contract here. In the middle of this contract, you realize you had to protect yourself from this DM. Wheel in reverse. For some of you guys, you're dealing with a DM who could have actually been putting spell work on you. I'm just going to tell you how it looked, okay? <laughs> just tell you how it looked. Like, that's the way the energy is coming in, okay? And then some of you guys, it's like, damn... Mm, I don't know why this came in. For some of you guys, with that lovers, that nine of wands, and that four of swords, mm, you could have started feeling like he had some kind of um, like a like a sexually transmitted demon on him or something like that. Like whenever you guys would have, I'm gonna tell you like what came to me here. Like you guys would have relations or something like that, and then you would either get sick a couple of days later or like you'd be exhausted, like some kind of unnatural exhaustion or like something you felt worse. I don't know why I'm getting that. Like I have never picked that up in a reading before, but for some reason, that's what I'm picking up here with this Gemini energy, this nine of wands. It's like this masculine could have had some kind of um, attachment or something like that. And you could have started, he could have had some kind of a, oh, come through spirit. Cause he's sleeping with a karmic that does spells. Okay. Like, I'm, he, like, hello. You could have started feeling like something like a, if you didn't start feeling bad, you could have started having like bad things happen to you or like bad luck, weird things happen. I don't know like a car things flat tire it'll be like almost like clockwork or something like there was some kind of this masculine has an attachment to him and it's like sleeping with this masculine it there's some kind of energy that's attached to him that puts you in the nine of wands okay whether it's actually having an inter intercourse with him or whether it's just um oh my goodness y'all this cat <laughs> Cat is moving everything. Hold on, y'all. You can get go somewhere. <laughs> okay. Okay. Sorry about that, you guys. My cat it was just doing the most. Something about this masculine, he has some kind of um, he has an attachment. 
period. This masculine has an attachment. And messing around with this masculine while he has this attachment on him, it brings you in an injustice. This masculine got some kind of healing. This masculine has multiple soul ties, period. Okay? He got multiple soul ties. So for you to even get justice, you had to protect yourself from this masculine. And this masculine, it's like these soul ties that he has. There's some kind of karma here attached to that. Period. <laughs> okay. With justice showing up right there, somebody got to heal from something as well. Like that is justice. It is justice that somebody is going to have to heal. Somebody's going to, oh, come through. Somebody's going to have to struggle. They're going to have to heal. They're going to have to go through everything that you went through. And they're going to have to stay on this karmic cycle twice. Hmm. Take that how that resonates. What's twice? Two years? Two months? Two years? Two lifetimes. They're going to have to stay on that cycle. Yeah, they're going to have to struggle and they're going to have to heal. They're going to have to go through all of that. And they're going to have to do it for the number two is what's coming to me. Yeah, because of what they did to an empress come through. Because of what they did to an empress. An empress had to isolate herself. An empress had to fight. Somebody put an empress in a position where you had to fight. We got Virgo energy. We got the Hermit. You had to literally protect yourself here. Towards Libra energy. You literally had to protect yourself here. And by isolating. Look at that. Yeah, by isolating. Because look at what was coming towards you. This is what was coming towards you. A tower. Somebody could have had a DM sending them a tower or like, oh goodness. If your DM is not a, a warlock, he got soul ties with a cultist. And one of these occultists could be like, this person could end up missing. And that has come out like every couple of months for me with a missing occultist. Because somebody's going to end up like not facing this exposure. Because if they're already exposed. Pretend like they're not exposed, but it just keeps getting worse and worse. Whoever this is, this person is under justice. But you had to fight. Whoever this is, they put you in a position where you had to fight because this is what they was bringing. And it's like this was a soul tie to this masculine. This is one of these masculine soul ties, Scorpio energy. That's who that is. That's one of his soul ties. Yeah, somebody very untrustworthy that he refused to hear anything about. He refused to hear anything about this person. With the two of swords, Hierophant in reverse, big Taurus energy. He didn't want to hear anything about this person. Even though this person is untrustworthy. It's like, damn, you just going to wait till this person really show you who they are. And they did. Because somebody's showing out. So they did. Okay. Child, let's see. Hmm. Let's see. What else is going on here? Yeah, somebody don't want to come outside. Look who don't want to come outside. <laughs> I'm about to clarify this fool next to the Ace of Swords. Somebody, look at this, child. Look who don't want to come outside. The Hierophant in reverse and the Queen of Wands in reverse. This untrustworthy person. They don't want to come outside. Look, it's over for them. What I told you. We already saw death in the other day. What I told you. It's over for them. It's over. She don't want to come outside. Because everybody knows you can't trust this person. They know. They know this person can't be trusted. Their organization that they're a part of can't be trusted. Their group, they cannot be trusted. Period. It's over for them. Big, big Scorpio energy showing up. Scorpio, Scorpio. Something is an end. Somebody know if they come outside, it's over. Damn, people could even be looking for this person. Oh, why am I getting that? If this queen of wands in reverse... She could be the occultist. Who? Unless this masculine is a warlock. Because he could show up as this queen of wands in reverse. There could be people looking for this person. I'm talking about with some aggressive, aggressive energy. This person could have ran, had a run in with, a, this person could have created their own soul tie. With somebody that is more low down than them. Because somebody is afraid to come outside. And this is their and this is justice. Child. 
I don't know. I don't know what this energy is that we tapping into tonight. <laughs> okay. I don't know what this energy is that we tapping into tonight, baby. Because, whoa. Yeah, it's over. Something is something is done. This person was showing out. Out. This person, this person was interfering in your personal business. This, this could be somebody that was trying to facilitate a love triangle. This is somebody who has been watching you. This person is about to be afraid to come outside. I keep hearing small fish. Yeah, this person, they had some kind of plan. This plan didn't work with the two of ones in reverse. They made a decision to execute some kind of plan. My ear is itching. I keep seeing a page of cups. Somebody is a small fish. Maybe they didn't know they were a small fish. Child, I cannot. I cannot. They, maybe they didn't know. Six of cups, something that they did in the past. It was rejected. Oh, goodness. Huh. We got the six of cups, four of cups, five of swords in reverse. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Whoever this Queen of Wands is in reverse. This person that's afraid, this third party interference. This karmic energy, this enemy. This enemy. That's somebody that a masculine has a soul tie with. He can have a soul tie with his enemy or something like that. And this somebody that just kept watching you. Some kind of plan that this person executed in the past. This plan was rejected. This energy was rejected. Some kind of energy of confusion. This could be chaotic energy. With seven of cups, eight of wands, four of cups. Could be chaotic. It was rejected. Yeah, now this person is sitting by themselves. They're afraid to come outside. Damn. <laughs> Child, don't be scared now. Don't be scared now, okay? <laughs> don't be scared. Yeah. Yeah. This person here, like, they're trying to figure out what to do. Ace of Swords, the truth came out about this confusion. There was a lot of confusion about this person being a manipulator. Here go this black magic energy again. Okay, because this is what we're right up underneath. Look at that. The truth is out. This person's public image is that this person does spell work. Look at that. Child, look at that. The truth is out. I'm out of confusion that this person was created. This person could also be a master gaslighter. And this person has been exposed. And they don't want to come out. I'm telling you, I keep seeing the page of cups. This person has been brought down to size. This person is being humbled. Whoever this manipulator is, this occultist, this energy manipulator, this person is being brought down to size. Oh, goodness. Who is this person, spirit? Like, why? Like, why? Okay, who is this person? For real. This is somebody that was waiting. They was waiting to see if you would heal. Oh my goodness. This person was definitely waiting to see if you would heal. With the three of wands. Pentacles, nine of swords in reverse. This is a person that was waiting to see if you would recover from something here. Recover from a ten of cups situation. Yeah, I'm telling you this person. Look. <laughs> Look how much this person was watching you. Five of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, the Star, Page of Swords. It's like this person could have watched a situation that you were in with your DM where things were good, where things were looking like a wish fulfillment, and then it went into the Five of Pentacles. This person has been watching the whole time. With the Five of Pentacles, Page of, page of Swords, this person has been watching the whole time. This is somebody that was waiting to see if you would actually heal. Damn. And we know this person is an energy manipulator. Mm -mm -mm. Child, I cannot. I cannot. Child, look at that. This person, somebody could end up going to jail, child. This is just a mess. This is a mess. We got round and round in reverse, dice in reverse. Somebody, this person was taking a risk. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. This person is not independent at all. Somebody could actually be like struggling in a relationship. This could be like a struggling relationship or something like that. We got the Seven of Swords here. There could be a scamming couple that's together here or something like that. These people are being slowed down. 
Something is stopping for them. Finances are stopping for them. It ain't coming in. This money's not coming in for them. These people are caught up. Look at that. We got the eight of wands, four of wands. I don't know why I'm just getting like a warrant. Okay, somebody got a court case on. For me to keep thinking like court case, court case is all that's popping up for me right now. There's some kind of court case. There's like a scamming couple or something like that. They're, they're being slowed down or something like there could be a warrant could be an issue for these people. Okay, take it how I resonate, child. Take it how I resonate. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you, whatever they thought was coming in, it's not coming in. With the Ace of Pentacles and the Five of Pentacles, this is not coming in. So whatever they was thinking, they can hang it up. Like, seriously. It's not, it's not going to work. Yeah, look. They got judgment against them because of the actions that they took. Big judgment energy here, Scorpio Sagittarius. They got judgment against them. This person is on a round and round wheel. I don't know why I heard round the clock. Somebody could have wanted you to be watched round the clock. Now somebody, somebody didn't know that they were being watched. Huh. This is giving me somebody should have been minding a business that pays them. Because somebody was minding your business. And they're attached to all of this that's going on. Yeah. And they're exposed. Trying to pretend like they're not exposed. They're exposed. Yeah. Look at that. We got Eight of Swords in reverse. Whoa. It's, it's clear. That's what I'm saying. It's like this person knows that it's going down. It's like they know. And it's due to a partnership. They know. That's what's so crazy about this. They know. And it's a partnership that brought this person to this point. Let's see. What is going on here? Mm -mm -mm. Somebody's exposed that they was trying to make themselves a star, a star seed or something like that. This person was so desperate. Yeah, this person does not get a wish fulfillment. What is going on with this person? Damn, this person, somebody mediated something is what I'm getting here. We expose the star. Star talks about healing. Temperance talks about healing. I got the three of swords in reverse. And then I got this king of wands. And we got exposed. This is like... Some of you, I'm getting two things. Some of you could have been in the process of reconciling or something like that. Or you were reconciling with the DM or something like that. And this person mediated something between this DM and another person, or somebody wanted to make sure that this DM reconciled with somebody else or something like that. But this is like somebody was a mediator here in a situation and the mediator had a motive or something like that. Damn, what is this? This is crazy. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. You said, what song won't leave your head now? Let's see. King of Wands, Queen of Swords. I'm telling you, this is the mediator. Queen of Swords. Come through, spirit. Oh, look at that. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Ace of Wands. And the world in reverse. This is what I'm saying. Somebody here mediated a reconciliation with a masculine and a karmic feminine. This karmic feminine... She could be this one here that's trying to do some kind of work that's into spell work with karmic and spells here. Child, this man, somebody is on a, somebody is on a wheel, <laughs> on a karmic wheel, and they're not getting a wish fulfillment. There's a mediator here. Somebody mediated this. Another attachment, a third party. Look at that. Other people that were interfering in your business. Other people. Child, come through. Let's see. Mm -mm -mm. Let's nine cups in reverse. Somebody didn't get what they wanted and they're pissed off. With fierce temper, nine of cups in reverse, they're pissed off. Somebody is so mad that you heal. This was bad news to somebody. My goodness, you know what's so crazy here? 
They fix the situation with this masculine and a karmic lover. Then you have this karmic lover who's mad because she found out about his, this masculine's emotions, this queen of wands in reverse. She's mad. She's getting exposed. And then you have this other person here who is like mad. They're so mad that you heal. Like this could even be a not so divine masculine. That is so mad that you healed. Like, it's just ridiculous. Not a cups in reverse, being clarified with the ten of swords in reverse. They're so, oh, look at that come through. Look at that. They're so mad that you healed, walked away, ten of wands in reverse, and dropped all your burdens. They're so mad. When I tell you this was bad news for them, this was bad news for them. I'm talking about they were sitting up straight. King of Swords energy, page of wands in reverse. This was like, <laughs> this was serious news to them that you healed like they could not take these. This was a problem. Yeah, that you released yourself. Four of Pentacles in reverse. This was a problem that you freed yourself. You freed yourself from this Five of Pentacles energy. Imagine somebody like, damn, well, like, why would you be mad at somebody for healing? Like, make it make sense. You're mad at somebody for healing. Child, what's going on? What is going on? Yeah, that's crazy. Right, Darlene. That's crazy that somebody would even be like that. But that's how these people are. You know what I'm saying? Like when people are like that, they are miserable. Miserable. Miserable people would never want you to be happy. They would never want that. At all. They're so... Ugh. This energy is just, whew, it bothers me. <laughs> Y'all, let's see. What else is going on? Look, it's a shapeshifter. This person is so mad that people know that they're a shapeshifter. Come through, spirit. We got visionary in reverse. They thought that people would never know that they're a shapeshifter. But they are. Somebody is a different person in front of different people. Look at that. We got exposed shapeshifter. They're so mad. They're so mad. This DM, he could be a shapeshifter when he gets in front of all of these different soul ties. Take it how it resonates. I'm not going to forget that this DM got at least three soul ties out here. Come through, spirit. We got a shapeshifter projecting any image that serves their personal agenda at the moment. Projecting their image onto you. Come through, spirit. Yeah, this person was a liar. Look at that. We got a storyteller in reverse. Okay, come through. This bully energy been coming out a lot as well. Okay, we got a child eternal in reverse. Wow. And a storyteller in reverse. Huh. This was like somebody was making up information. Because we know this shapeshifter was projecting this energy onto you. This is like somebody was taking their stories, the things that they do, the things that they've done, and they tried to make that your story all the way down to a childhood story. Come through, spirit. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, this was a trickster. I'm telling you, this person is an absolute liar. Period. With that trickster energy, manipulating others through duplicity. Come through. Okay, so you have somebody competing where they don't compare. Come through. Yeah, this person could have been doing glamour spells. They were, they were manipulating energy to project their energy onto you and try to get your energy and put themselves all like wrap themselves in your energy, cloak themselves in your energy while projecting their energy onto you. Come through, Sphere. That's what they were doing. All the way down to some childhood story. Take it how it resonates. You would know if that relates to you. You would know. Yeah, this person was playing the game. They were reckless. Now this person isn't happy. We got not happy. Reckless love, reckless sex. They could have been doing sex magic. They were reckless. This person is exposed. Period. And they're not happy. This shapeshifter. Let's see. What else? Yeah, they're losing sleep. They're learning a karmic lesson. Come through, spirit. They're losing sleep. They're learning a karmic lesson. They know. Yeah. And somebody's learning a karmic lesson in a soul tie that has to break. We're married in reverse. 
This is somebody who refused to be awakened. This could have been your divine masculine. Creating soul ties with other people. Or you found him with all those soul ties already and just didn't know. Come through, spirit. Okay? Now we got this storyteller. This person making up lies. They got a different story for everyone that they're in front of. Yeah, look. Now we got closing this cycle. Somebody was making up stories so that a cycle could close for you. Somebody misses you now. Yeah, this is somebody who didn't believe you, believe in you with praying in reverse. Somebody could have been listening to a shapeshifter or something like that. We got a shapeshifter whose cycle is over with. Come through. Okay, let's see. What else? What's trickster? Manipulator? others. This is a later. We know they can't get no sleep. They're a shapeshifter. Oh, okay. <laughs> Them cards did not want to shuffle. Look at that. We got shady. And what that say? Love spell. Come through, spirit. We got shady love spell. Then I tell you, this is what this person is doing. Come through. Same energy. Same energy. Shady love spell. Karmic spell. Look at that. Love is over here. This person is a psychopath. We got psycho, obsessed, crazy. This person ex is exposed for being jealous, for being desperate, for being a Jezebel. Come through. Take it how it resonate. Okay? Yeah. This person is exposed. And they're so mad that they're exposed. Like super mad. Let's take these. It's, you know... What's so sad here is it feels like this masculine was knee deep in this. That feels really bad here. Like this masculine is knee deep in this. And I, I can't even move past that because the way that nine of wands is there, like you had to protect yourself from your own DM it's really hard for me to even try to like walk away from that. And the energy does not feel good because even while I'm sitting here doing this reading, I feel so alone. I feel so alone. So it's like, I feel like you felt so alone. Like you really felt like this, like you felt so alone. Like I feel so distraught. I feel like I'm fighting back tears. I feel like I'm fighting for myself like I'm tired of fighting like it is so crazy the way this energy feel like y'all don't even understand like I'm so hot right now it's like I'm tired of fighting you know it, it feels so much it feels like so much mm, this masculine I don't like his energy I don't like this energy at all I don't like it. It's it's overwhelming. It's crushing. It's heavy. That's why you had to walk away. Look at look what what was there with you. You had to walk away. That's the only way you could get rid of this ten of wands was by walking away. It feels so, like y'all don't like. I feel crushing, like crushing, like like I almost can't even be my you know usual perky self because it's like perked up so because it's. It's so much. I feel, ugh. I feel like the Eight of Swords. <laughs> like, it's crazy. Let's see. Yeah, somebody was a trickster here. They, had, they were playing so many games. They were playing so many games. This DM line, like, this energy just feels so heavy. It feels crushing, okay? Like, damn. Like, like, that's tough. That's tough. Okay, let's see. Yeah, we got small-ish don't matter in reverse. It's like, what I just got was like, this masculine just became so cold. Almost like your feelings didn't matter. What you said didn't matter. Like, it, it, it's just like nothing mattered. It's like nothing mattered. You could have started to feel like you was going toe-to-toe -to -toe with him or something like that. Come through. Yeah, and then you still kept showing up for him. Wow. Even while he dismissed your emotions, 
while he dismissed your needs, even while he dismissed all of that, we got left hanging in reverse. You showed up even while you were hurt inside, even while you could have just got through crying. I don't know why I'm getting that. You still would show up even while you were feeling hurt and crushed inside. You kept showing up. Warrior princess to fight. <sighs> I'm so tired. Yo. <laughs> like, uh, like, yo. <laughs> this energy is like, oh my God. <laughs> this energy is something else. Yeah. And then while you were attached to this masculine, this masculine has soul ties doing jar spells on you, stalking you. When I told you somebody was stalking you, could have even tried to pay somebody to follow you. And so, so it's like you're battling all these soul ties that this masculine has created for himself. He got unfinished love stories with soul ties, with karmics. With karmics. Unfinished stories with these soul ties that he created. And here you are coming in innocent. I'm in love with you. You coming in with so much love. You innocent. You ain't even know that you was going to end up in this battle. You had no idea that you were going to end up in this battle. That's all we got. I'm so I'm in love with you and the sitting duck. You had no idea. Like you were just showing up with all this love and happiness and everything in your heart, child. <laughs> Only to find out that you you got the whole seven of wands. You got the tower, the empress. The empress is over here fighting. Like, yo, this is, this is crazy. This is crazy. And you still was fighting for this masculine, even while he was being very dismissive. Child, let's see. Ooh, what else is going on here? Y'all make sure y'all share the live stream. Mm, I'm telling you, like, I could barely get this out. I could barely get it out. Oh, what else? We're going we gonna to do it, though. What else? What else? <laughs> yeah, look at that. You had to pray to God. We got most high. You had to pray to God. You didn't know that this masculine created a soul tie with a sore maiden. You didn't know that he created a soul tie with a Jezebel energy. You didn't know that he created a soul tie with an occultist. You didn't know that. You didn't know that. God had to step in for you because this masculine got so many soul ties. He got an unfinished love story, I'm telling you, with a sore maiden. He got a whole cycle that he still has to go round and round. Look, round and round in reverse. Round and round. Look at this. The wheel in reverse. He, this masculine got soul ties. That's why you were fighting so much. He got soul ties. He, he created them. Why? Because he was money hungry. He was low vibrational. He was materialistic. He only cared about himself. Yeah, this masculine was a double-minded man. One minute, this masculine telling you about all these things that he want to do. He want to wake up. He want to step up. He want to be his true self. You see all the potential in him. You trying to pull all that potential up out of him. But you're dealing with a double-minded man. This masculine has like a whole side of him that's dedicated to these karmic soul ties. But you see the other side of him that he's not even willing to do the work to come out. This masculine got contracts. He got contracts. He got contracts with third parties. And that's what he wanted. That's what he wanted. Now, he didn't know how he, it was going to end up for him. But that's what he wanted. And he knew it was, he knew it was wrong. Being greedy. Being greedy. He ended up with what? A filthy feminine? Somebody who is obscure, somebody who creates a lot of stagnant energy, a decaying energy. Yeah, so come through spirit. So you're okay. Who? <laughs> Give me a second. Yeah, that's why you could have had to start doing affirmations. I am healthy. I am protected. I know who I am. I am love in itself. You like you could have had to start doing affirmations, mess up, dealing with this situation. Because this masculine has a contract with this sore maiden energy, with a filthy, 
karmic feminine energy. This masculine has multiple soul ties, even with other karmic masculines because of his greed. This masculine, it's like you, you having to fight these energies while being attached to this masculine, right? Because we know the Empress was fighting. And what's crazy here, no other like suit out around you. No other suit cards came out around you, Empress. So that tells me you had this battle. You had to fight this battle with just you and God. But baby, that's all you needed. So don't worry about the fact that other people didn't step in to help you and all that other stuff. Don't worry about that because it was you and God. So don't, you, you wasn't by yourself. Okay. So know that. Know that. Okay. But back to this. I didn't, no other suit cards came out around you. So I know when it comes to the 3D, it was all you. It was all you, baby. That's it. That's it. It was you. So that tell me that this masculine didn't even step up for you. But look at you. You were stepping up for him, right? Left hanging in reverse, tears coming down your eyes. Like you literally could have just been crying because of something that happened with this masculine. And something happens and it's like, boom, you're trying to fix it for him. You're trying to solve it for him. You're trying to be there for him. And you fighting this energy and you don't even realize that this masculine got a, a soul tie with a decaying karmic energy that is literally decaying. And what happens when your fruit is rotten, when you have rotten fruit? You can't put fresh fruit next to fruit, fruit that's rotten because it's going to rot too. So that decaying energy, oh, come through spirit. That's why I was picking up that energy about the four swords when I was, cause I, yo, when I was initially picking up this energy with the four swords, I was like, why am I getting this? Why am I getting this with the four swords? When I was picking up that energy earlier, where it was like, for some of you, it was like, even after sleeping with this masculine, it felt like debilitating, decaying, right? So now we know where that decaying energy comes from. Like, it, it, it was like taking something from you every time you was with him. And then it was like a day later, two days later, something would happen. You know, somebody got in your bank account. Somebody hacked you. You got a flat tire. Something happened with work. All of a sudden, you, you having a bad weekend. It looked like you was going to go into a beautiful weekend. You're having a bad weekend. You're like, damn, what's going on? And then, and then if you look back, you'll find that a lot of the things that was happening to you would happen after you slept with him, right? Or after you had some kind of major energy exchange with him, whether that is to this masculine, you could have been on the phone with him and he's next to this person. He's around this person or he just got through sleeping with this person and you on the phone with him for one, two hours. This person siphoning you. This person, oh, I'm telling you, it's like this person because we know that they were doing all types of projection spells. We know that they were showing out when it came to doing this magic. We know that. That's why you sitting here having to fight on yourself. Child, come through. <laughs> come through. And this energy is so oh, heavy. It's such a heavy energy that I can't even be my usual. <laughs> okay, self, because the energy is so heavy. It won't even, I, like, I can't even, I can't even get up and move the way I want to move. How heavy it is. Come through, spirit. Child, I cannot. Let's see. What else? What else do we need to know, Holy Spirit? We'll see what that was. Huh. Look. We are heartless in reverse. Yeah, you came in. It's like you had a big old heart for somebody that was heartless. Because this is somebody, whoever this masculine is, he didn't appreciate that you came in with all of this love. He did not see that love as the jackpot with jackpot in reverse. You came in with... You was giving pure love to a person with a giant hole in their heart. And it's not that this person doesn't have love inside of them. It's just that this masculine got too many karmic soul ties. Way too many. Period. Okay? Way too many. Let me see what this is. I think, I think this card had came out before. Hold on. Oh, look at that. I'm in love with you. Huh. 
and it's still jackpot in reverse. I'm telling you, this masculine started to play with your love. Literally. Play with your love. That's what he started doing. Playing with it. What else? Look at that. We got a strong tongue and explosive events. You prophesied something here. You knew. You knew. You knew that something was going to blow up in his face. You knew that him and, and him engaging in all of this gossip, you could have felt like he was gossiping about you. You knew him listening to all these rumors. You knew him not taking... Thank you. Thank you, cutie pie. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Thank you, Empress Nilla. I appreciate... Oh, pre oh y'all showing out. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, look at that. Explosive events, sitting duck, big mouth. Look at this. Strong tongue. This is about prophecy, this strong tongue card. You knew that this masculine was a sitting duck. A sitting duck. But the thing is, it's like there was only so much you can do because it came to the point where you had to protect yourself from this masculine too. He could have started talking crazy to you. Come through. Let's see. What else? Huh. Yeah, you. I'm telling you, you could have felt like he betrayed you. You could have felt like he, he betrayed you. And you know what I'm getting to? For some of you guys, this is like um, somebody tried to interfere. Yeah, somebody tried to influence. Thank you, Darlene. Thank you so much. Thank y'all. I appreciate all of y'all. Y'all showing out tonight. Y'all know I don't really get um, super chats like that. So I appreciate them when I see them. Okay. We have influencer. Okay. We got backstab. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, y'all so sweet. Oh my God. Okay. We got backstab. Uh, thank you, Nikki Bird. Okay. And new spiritual bay in the influencer. Somebody, for some of you guys, and this is a side story. This could even be somebody in your family. Thank you, God's favorite. Thank you, thank you. This could even be somebody in your family. Somebody tried to influence a new person that you're dealing with. Literally, somebody tried to influence a new person that you're dealing with or a person that... You could have had a false start with somebody, Divine Feminine. Come through, Spirit. Let's channel for a second. You could have had a false start with somebody. And this could even be this DM where it never even fully got off the ground. For some of you guys, this situation never fully got off the ground. But because you're an intuitive, you already knew what was going on behind the scenes. But as far as like what was actually fully revealed to you in real time during that time, it was like... It was just weird. You could have felt like this man could have ghosted you or just switched up on you out of nowhere. Something just changed. It didn't make any sense at all. It's like somebody was literally trying to influence this masculine. And you know what I just got? And I've never gotten this when I look at this new spiritual bay card. Somebody tried to um, paint you as a karmic connection or something like that. Yeah, take it as it resonates. Somebody could have told this masculine that you're like a karmic twin or you're like attached to darkness or something like that. But you knew that this masculine was going to get betrayed here. You knew he was going to get betrayed here with this backstabbing. And especially for some of you guys where this masculine went on to a new attachment, a karmic attachment that he met through. These other karmic attachments because somebody facilitated a reconciliation or a new relationship. There was a mediator here. She showed up as the queen of swords mediating a situation. This person, somebody was shady here. Come through. Child, let's see. Let's see. What else is going on, you guys? What else? Yeah, now it's like this man, masculine, first of all, was confiding in karmic energies. And for you, Divine Feminine, you could have re you could regret sharing some kind of spiritual knowledge with this masculine. You could regret that. 
sharing some kind of spiritual knowledge with him. Because we got to be careful who you confide in in reverse. This to me feels like it's hitting like a, dub, a double edge blade. The way this is hitting for me right now. It's like you could have regretted confiding in this masculine. And guess what? This masculine now regrets confiding in these people because see, you knew, right? With this prophecy card, this strong tongue card, that this masculine was going to be a sitting duck. You knew that he was going to be a sitting duck. And this masculine ended up being that because he confided in snakes. You could have started keeping things to yourself. With this crow energy, mystery, intelligence, transformation, magic, guidance, resilience, you stop sharing your insight with him because he was playing too much. Yeah, look at that. Giving my heart to you in reverse. You stop sharing these messages that God started placing on your heart. Okay, I love you guys too. Let's see. Let's see what's going on. Come through spirit. Yeah, because you knew he was a double. You knew he was a two-faced. Let me say it exactly how it came. You started holding back information from this masculine because you knew he was two-faced, period. And you also didn't know what masculine you were going to get. You didn't know if you was going to get Jekyll or Hyde or whoever. You didn't know who you was going to get. You didn't know. You just knew that there was an influencer behind the scenes you knew that this masculine was getting information from the devil. Look at him. Look at the devil giving this masculine a key. Look at that. An influencer. You know that this masculine was being influenced by something. This masculine could have a demonic attachment. Okay? I'm just going to tell you how it came to me. This masculine could have a demonic attachment. Okay? This masculine could have a contract with a demon or something like that, like, yo, take it how it resonates, or somebody gave this masculine to this entity or something like that. Yeah, I'm telling you, where this masculine's job is to, like, trick chosen ones? Like, what is this? Yo, like, some like, who? Either this masculine knows that he's, that's why he has all these soul ties, or there is a karmic feminine energy who is attached to this masculine, it could be a mother energy or something that put him in this position, put him in this role. And until he spiritually wake up, he gonna always be in this role. And is like, has a thing to like hurt chosen ones or something like that. It's something, it's something weird going on here. It's all, it feels like this masculine has like some kind of attachment, okay? And he got a bunch of soul ties here. Whew. Let's see. What else is going on? What else is going on? Yeah, some kind of karma kicked in. So kind of karma kicked in. We got boomerang energy. So whoever this um energy manipulator is, this karmic feminine energy, this trickster, this one that was doing these shady love spells, this one, huh, that one. You got a boomerang here. This masculine is facing karma for what he's done. He, I'm telling you, it's like you could have felt like while dealing with this masculine, like something was wrong with him. Okay, you could have felt like something was wrong with him, like something was in his eyes or something like you didn't even recognize who he is, like something was out of this world with this masculine. Yeah, you didn't know what masculine you were going to get while dealing with him. With wild card, he started to flip or transform into something you didn't even recognize. He ended up lost. We got lost on his journey. We got a fishy offer. You can feel like, yeah, he got lost here. Yeah, something, there's offers here, but these offers, this masculine, like, I mean, we got a fishy offer, we got a love offer, we got twin flames. I'm telling you, this could be your twin flame, and he just got other karmic soul ties, and he's on the wheel. So, this could not even work, because you just, you're going to have to protect yourself from your twin if your twin is actively dealing with karmic soul ties. If he is actively engaged with these soul ties, you're going to end up protecting yourself from him. Period. Because you're not going to, because you don't want that energy to get on you. 
So you're going to end up having to do that. Period. Child. Let's see. What else is going on? What else is going on? You said he never tells the truth. He only tells half truths. Child, he's something else. He's caught up in a tangled web. He's caught up in a tangled web. Let's see what else. When I tell you, this energy is debilitating. I, I literally feel like I'm being crushed. Yeah, he wants to get out of this. <laughs> he wants to get out of this. He don't know how to get out of this, but he know that he needs to. Look at that. Tangled web in reverse, deadly combo in reverse. Damn, this masculine knows that this attachment, this situation that he got himself in with this person, it's a deadly combo. He wants himself from this web. And he will. He will. It look like he got, he got two cycles to go through. I don't know why I keep getting two cycles. Like I said, two months, two years, two lifetimes. He got two cycles to go through. The number two is significant there. Child, let's see what else is going on. Because, baby, I can't. Got a shady love spell. My goodness. This person, somebody scared to come outside. We're going to find out about that. We ain't forget about you. We ain't forget about you. Queen of Swords in reverse. We ain't forget about you. <laughs> okay. Let's see. We're going to wrap this up. We're going to see how this all plays out. Come through, spirit. Give me the challenges that these people are facing. Page of Swords in reverse. They got to watch you. Wow. And jealousy? Somebody's watching you and mad and jealous at the same time? Damn, that's the challenge? The challenge is, is that they can't stop watching you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Imagine that. That's the challenge challenges you're all angry and salty watching like what is that <laughs> oh my goodness that's crazy <laughs> hey, <what? laughs> all right let's keep going whoa what's the challenge come through series come on three more king of wands who the challenge is they need to get confident the challenge is they don't have the confidence to defeat you what? Somebody is exposed. Okay, so this occultist here. This is why these occultists is going missing. They, they need to like, if you know, I don't know why they keep acting like divine feminines are just so naive and you're just sitting ducks because this is just ridiculous. Challenge being the king of wands. So they need to get confidence. They don't have the confidence. They're watching you in this energy. They don't, so the challenge is they're watching you in this energy, determined. You're determined to win, for you to win for yourself. Wow, ain't that something? The challenge is they gotta watch you be a go getter. Though they gotta, they gotta watch you be confident. Wow, what kind of challenge is that? Cool. The moon come through. They're in fear. Pisces, Cancer energy. There could be a Sagittarius involved as well. Look at that, the moon and the six of pentacles in reverse. Wow, I mean, there is something going on with a missing occultist, okay? Because now we got high priestess, Pisces, double Pisces energy, six of pentacles in reverse, the moon. Somebody, this occultist, she could have taken some money and not have done the work or something like that. Or some kind of work didn't, something didn't work. There could be a group of people after this person. Okay? With the Knight of Swords and the Knight of Swords in reverse and the Three of Cups. There could be a group of people after this person. Because some kind of work didn't go through. Oh, come through spirit. That's why it's a challenge for them to watch you in this King of Wands energy. Okay. Come through spirit. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate all of you guys' support. That is why that's a challenge. 
<laughs> so the challenge is they got to want you in this King of Wands energy. Be confident, bold, go getter, putting yourself first, going, doing what you believe in, do, believing in yourself, actually executing your dreams. They have to watch you in that energy. And then on top of that, they're drowning in their emotions because they paid somebody to do some kind of work where you weren't supposed to be able to do this. And the person didn't do the work. Come through spirit. And that's why that side story keeps coming out. Thank you. Thank you, Elevator Taurus. Thank you. That's why that side story keeps coming out about the missing occultists. Because these people paid and now they're pissed off because they got to watch you in this big boss energy, in this King of Wands energy, very confident, very prideful, very much so not feeling like guilty about putting yourself first because you old come through. You've been putting yourself last for too long. That is the man. I don't know why. That's a message for somebody, okay, who's watching this. You've been putting yourself last for too long. You've been putting yourself fifth, fourth, third, and second. And it's like you refuse to put yourself first. You feel guilty about putting yourself first. They, it's like now they got to watch you put yourself first and go after what you want because it's your time. And this is a challenge for them because they paid for this to not happen. Damn, come through spirit. They paid for this to not happen. And this is why this cultists don't want to come outside. Okay? Because these people is like, we paid all this money. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> come through spirit. Okay? Like, yo. Okay. Page of Swords in reverse. Knight of Wands. Wow. We got the Knight of Wands and the Queen of Cups. It's like so. Wow. They got to watch you. So it's like they're go after your passion, everything that you love. They're watching you go through that. Oh, and they're going to have to watch you and your emperor. Mm, take it how it resonates. This is the challenge for this person. This person is going to have to watch you with your true divine counterpart, whether that's this DM and he has an awakening or your new DM. Because the challenge is they're going to have to watch you receive pure love. We got an emperor showing up. Big Aries energy. Okay? And we have the eight of pentacles. Queen of cups. This is somebody who wants to put in work. Somebody is going to be sick. Ten of wands. This is going to weigh so heavily on them. Watching this emperor put in so much work for you. It's going to piss them off. Yeah, they're pissed off. That's why they're looking like this. They're pissed off with fierce temper. They're psycho. They're crazy. They're obsessed. How did you get this? We thought we did a spell. <laughs> yeah. We thought we slowed everything down for you. Child. King of Wands, baby. All oh, this is a challenge. Come through. King of Wands. What's the King of Wands? Now, watch you be bold. Watch you be confident. Yeah, they're going to watch. And it's going to be so clear. Seven of Cups, Page of Wands. This is almost like they're going to watch opportunities just come your way. And you're going to get your picking. It's like you get your picking. It's like you're going to be able to analyze these options. You're going to be able to look at them. Hey, turn around, turn around. Like you're going to get your picking on these opportunities that come your way. And you're going to choose what you want. You get to choose what you want. Your vision is clear. And somebody is going to be drowning in their emotions. King of Cups in reverse. Five of Pentacles in reverse because they want to come out of the cold. They're going to be drowning in their emotions watching this. This is going to tear somebody up. We got the moon showing up. Yeah, now there's a bunch of people here that's going to be in fear. Somebody's in fear. Heavy anxiety. Heavy. Child, let's see. You're going to prophesy that. Yeah, look at that. I'm trying to tell you. Come through, spirit. Come through. Huh. Look at that. I told you. What I said with the moon, in fear. In fear, what I told you about that occultist, what I told you, look, was clarifying it. 
Queen of Swords in reverse. Seven of Swords. Whoa. She's mad. Somebody could be cuss cursing people out. They're lashing out on people here. Because they're so mad. They're so mad. The challenge is the Seven of Swords. They're so mad. This Queen of Cups, this Queen of Swords in reverse could have gotten robbed by the occultists. This occultist could have like, wow, like this person could have just kept taking money from this person and stopped doing work. They could have just stopped doing work altogether. This, this queen of swords in reverse is in her feelings. She's so upset that she paid all this money for nothing. She spent money with a liar. Page of Pentacles, five of cups in reverse, ace of swords in reverse. She spent all this money with a liar. She did not get this victory and she kept bringing this person money over and over and over again. This person stole her money. Look, I'm trying to tell you, come through spirit. I cannot. This person stole their money. Page of Pentacles and the Seven of Swords. All this regret, Five of Cups, Ace of Swords in reverse. Yeah, this person is mad. Yeah, they're so mad because look, their plans, they try to execute these plans, higher fine energy. They trying to execute these plans, big Taurus energy, they're angry. Knight of Swords in reverse, two of wands. These plans is messed up. Now they got to surrender. They got to surrender to the five of swords. They got to surrender to defeat. Come through spirit. They're terrified. They got to surrender. Of course, boomerang energy, full in reverse. They're terrified. They got to surrender. Whoa, a whole group? A whole group is getting beat down? An untrustworthy group, a coven, a religious group, a gang, a clique. Look at them. They've been defeated. Somebody is getting stumped. Like, literally. Somebody could literally, like, be getting stomped. Okay? They're defeated. Okay? Let's see. Huh. Two of Pentacles. Somebody don't even know what to do. They don't even know what to do. Child, let's see. What else is going on here? How long we been on? We've been on for an hour and 20. Let's see. What's the outcome? Because, baby, we got the challenge. The challenge is a whole lot. The challenge is there's an emperor that's going to have to watch you do another, watch you with another emperor. Okay? We got world in reverse. Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius energy. World in reverse. There's some kind of cycle that these people are on. There are three people. People on this side, something isn't done for these people. World in reverse. Something is still open. Child, let's see. What's the outcome? Something is still open. We got the strength card showing up. Strength in the five of swords. Strength, five of swords, and the four of cups. Damn. Somebody didn't have the strength to defeat something. Okay. Because they it still got rejected. Four of cups. Who? Okay. Somebody's going to need strength. They're going to need strength for this. Because this is like going to be an ongoing battle. Let's see. Outcome. One more. Okay, we'll start clarifying. Nine of Pentacles. Oh, it's slow. Look at, look at it. We got the Knight of Pentacles, three of wands in reverse, and look at how the tower is revealing itself. They are trapped in this tower. They can't even get out. Knight of Pentacles, they trying to run up out of there and they not moving. You ever have a dream where it's like you running, but you're not going nowhere? Okay. Three of wands in reverse. No expansion, no growth. Knight of Pentacles, somebody's stuck in this tower. Knight of Pentacles. They don't have the strength to move. So they're going to be isolating themselves. Hermit energy. Virgo, come through spirit. Child, let's see. Outcome. Whew. The world in reverse. Let's see. 
What's the world in reverse? The sun. Oh, everything. Wow. They're going to be stuck watching you. Watching you get all this attention, public recognition. Watching you get, watching you be protected. Okay, come through. World in reverse. The sun. Everything is illuminated. Everything is exposed. They're exposed. They can't get out of that exposure. They're going to have to sit and watch you. Just sit and look at you in this Six of Wands energy. Wow. Let's see the sun. Big Leo energy. Big Leo energy. Somebody's going to be like constantly searching for happiness. Okay, somebody's going to be constantly searching for happiness. And it's just going to be an ongoing thing. Wow. Let's see. What's going on? Queen of Pentacles in reverse. She's stuck. Didn't I tell you that? Didn't I say they're going to be stuck? There's somebody stuck on a cycle. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. She's insecure. She's unstable. She could be a thief. She could be hiding money. She could be hiding money. Yeah, she got reverse against her. Okay. She could be hiding some money that she stole or something like that. I don't know why I'm getting that. Okay. Huh. Let's see. She could have a strong earth placement. She's stuck. Let's see. One more over there. Yeah, she's she's afraid. She's afraid. Period. Look at that. Two of swords with the blindfolds on. Full energy in reverse. She's afraid. She's afraid to come out. Oh, we. She gave up. The outcome is this Queen of Pentacles in reverse is going to have to surrender. Not a sword, not a wise in reverse. She gave up. Yeah. She gave up. Yep. She tried to trap your wish fulfillment, but you knew that. You knew that. With the high priestess, nine of cups here, eight of swords, you knew that somebody was trying to give you psychic attacks so you couldn't go towards your wish fulfillment. That's why they don't want you in that King of Wands energy. That's why. Come through. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Strength card, big Leo energy. What's going on? Outcome. Somebody's going to need their strength. Somebody's going to need their strength. Yeah. Look at that. Somebody's going to need their strength. Who? Ten of Cups is here. Somebody's going to need their strength because you have strength. Somebody's going to need their strength to see you celebrating a partnership. I don't know why that keeps coming up because that came up here as well. Of a masculine having to watch you go into another partnership or watch another masculine put in a lot of work for you. I'm picking that up here as well. That's a tower for somebody. Okay, come through spirit. For some of you guys, a part of this tower hitting a DM. Okay, because this tower feels like it's hitting multiple people. It's him watching you with somebody else. Somebody putting in a lot of work for you. He gonna need his strength to even see this. Because it's coming in. It's coming in. And this person is not gonna have all of these attachments. Okay? Devil in reverse, two of cups, ten of cups. This person is not going to have all of these attachments. And it's like you're going to be celebrating something here. Yeah. And this masculine is going to be so jealous. With Knight of Cups in reverse, Three of Cups, Chariot energy, Cancer energy, Two of Cups. You're going into a soul contract. Whoa. Okay. Take it how it resonates. Somebody or the masculine want to come up out of the cold. Let's see. What else? Okay. I'm telling you, he want to come out of the cold. This masculine don't want to see you with nobody else. Yeah, because you're the queen of wands. He don't want to see you with nobody else. Five of pentacles in reverse. He don't want to see you with nobody else. This is the masculine that wants to come out of the cold. He got plans to come forward because he's jealous. It's like this masculine is going to see you moving on. This masculine, for some of you guys, this masculine going to pop up as soon as you move, up, move on with your life. Okay, that's when he's going to pop up. 
Five of coins in reverse. Yeah, I'm telling you, come through, spirit. It's his karma. Look at that. Eight of cups in reverse. Coming back. Look, I'm trying to tell you, if this ain't coming out of the cone, I don't know what to tell you. That's his karma. Come through, spirit. What did I say? What did I say? I've literally been saying this ever since we was over here. That's his karma. Who come through? And I'm telling you, he going to pop out four swords in reverse and the tower. This masculine going to pop up like the undertaker. Y'all remember the undertaker from WWE, F, whatever that thing was, the undertaker. How the undertaker would just rise. <laughs> How the undertaker would just rise. This how this mask is about to rise up on you. <laughs> I'm talking about he coming just like that. This mask is about, hold on, somebody's falling into my family? Hold on, they putting all that work in her? They putting all this work? What do you mean? What do you mean? <laughs> they don't pop up. Okay, big tower energy, four swords in reverse. That's how he popping up. He's so mad, he out of his mind. King of Swords in reverse? What the F is wrong with this goddamn masculine? Yo, who is this masculine? <laughs> that masculine gonna be going off on his three friends, on these three karmic attachments, these three soul ties, justice, three of pentacles in reverse. Look at this. High priestess, this mess is going to be like my high priestess. Divine feminine, you could be a high priestess because this masculine in this rampage is going to be telling this group, I should have never listened to y'all. My high priestess warned me about you guys and now I'm getting karma. Now I'm getting karma. That's how this masculine is about to feel, child. That's why I'm like, what in the world? I'm telling you, this masculine is going to pop up. Aries energy on the fool. Scorpio energy on the tower. That's how this masculine is about to pop up. Like, child, I cannot. Okay, you guys, what else? I'll tell you, there's judgment against all of this. Judgment is here. Judgment in reverse clear this energy there's a loss of stability here these plans against you just did not work these plans against you just landed this person in jail landed somebody in mental anguish it landed somebody like who somebody stuck they stuck these plans got them caught up period and you healed you healed these plans got them caught up child i cannot let's see is there a final message here Let's see. Let's pull these. See if there's a, oh, these cards are so hard. Okay. Let's see if there's a final message here for you guys. Yeah, now this masculine is finding himself. Yeah, because he's lost. I mean, look at that. Finding myself lost. No one compares. This masculine is waking up to the facts that no one compares to you. No matter how many people I've met and experienced, I have, there's no one that compares to you. I feel lost without you. We got the future. I daydream about our future together, going on adventures and growing old together. I want it all attached to my ex. What I said, this masculine is, it was attached to other soul ties. Look at that, attached to my ex. Twin flame. Look at that. Let me go in reverse. I'm telling you, there's so many people attached to this masculine. Like, it's crazy. Others' opinions. This masculine had multiple, multiple attachments. Yeah. For this masculine, for us to close out with this masculine scene that nobody compared. This is a masculine that didn't appreciate what he had. Period. He started acting cold. He started getting very nasty with your very like innocent energy, with your sweet energy. You was showing up for this masculine all the time. You showed up for this masculine when nobody else showed up for him. That's why a part of his karma is him watching another emperor put in all of this work, all of this work for you. It's going to drive this masculine nuts. 
It's going to drive him nuts. Yeah, cut through spirit. That's why this exposed card says fragile heart. Somebody's going to tell this masculine about this. For some of you guys, your own masculine tried to put a love spell on you or something like that. And it's like, it's so crazy because here you are trying to move on, heal and everything. There's a karmic feminine, a soul tie that's obsessed to, with you, attached to this masculine. <laughs> Refuse to let go. Child, I cannot. Okay, you guys, I cannot. Okay, that was y'all reading. Okay. Yeah, don't nobody F your spirit up at all. At all. You got to protect yourself at all costs. I'm just looking at it like this. But this, this reading just felt so, so heavy. Because this is definitely a masculine that didn't appreciate what he had. And Divine Feminine, like, yo, I could, like, I was fighting back tears tapping into your energy when it came to how, like, crushing this felt. And, like, you showing up for this masculine, even while heartbroken, you were showing up for this masculine. Even while in pain, you could have held a lot of that pain inside of you. And you showing up for this masculine while feeling pain, but you keeping a straight face. I just heard poker face. Like, because you don't even want to burden him. Ooh, come through. Like, you didn't even want to burden him with your pain. Your pain that he gave you. Huh. Look at that. Pain that he gave you. You ain't even want to burden him with that. Right? Because you got to get over it by yourself. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, that was just, just really hurtful. Tapping into that energy. That energy was like, ugh, crazy. Yeah. Let's see. You said somebody, he completely underestimated you, cutie pie. Yeah, I, I could see that. I could feel that. It felt, it felt terrible. <laughs> it felt terrible. Like, I was literally, like, like fighting back tears. Okay? Like, that was terrible. That's probably, like, whew, that, that felt like a lot. If I would have stayed in there any longer, it would have been rough. Let's see. Yeah, let's see. The same thing. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Thank you, Emma. You said because he was going to act stupid and confused. That's why I kept moving and moved on. Yeah. You had to. You had to protect yourself. Look, I mean, to see an empress battling this like you should not be battling this this don't make no sense this don't make no sense your emperor should not your emperor should not have you in this predicament and no other suit card showed up for you no other suit there wasn't another card backing you up or nothing it wasn't another person that showed up in a positive position nothing this was all you you and God you and God. Mm -mm -mm. That's wild. Let's see. Yep. You and God. It's just wild how this masculine had you out here. For some of you guys, like fighting for your life. By yourself. Fighting for your life. He could have even been fraternizing with these people. Yeah, acting like things are small. It don't matter. And these are things that matter, right? But because it directly impacts you, it didn't matter. Jeez, oh, so mean. This masculine became so mean. So I was like, I do not like his energy. <laughs> like at all. I don't expect all the DMs to have amazing energy or anything. But no, this, this DM, his energy felt cold. Like almost like he would intentionally make, make you cry. Like, you could have felt like that's what was happening at some point. Let's see. You ain't know. Let's see. What he said? I don't even think he knows what feelings are. Wow. Yeah. With that cold-blooded energy that came out. Mm. I don't think so either, darling. You said you had to show up. You got two kids. <laughs> oh, goodness. Let's see. What else? You said you love God. I do, too. Okay, because when you in a when you in a battle by yourself, just like Divine Feminine was, Empress Energy was in this situation, the only person that showed up for you was God. That was literally the only person that showed up. But guess what? Who better than God? 
Who better than God? Like, seriously. <laughs> like, who better? There's no one better. That's all you needed. That's all you needed. Okay? Who better? This masculine got all these soul ties. Like, yeah, like that was crazy how all them contracts were showing up for this masculine. Okay? Let's see. Okay, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed your reading. Did y'all watch the other reading on my other channel? Make sure y'all watch the other reading on my other channel. Okay? Make sure y'all watch that reading. I think that reading uh, was about a masculine who he thought that he was getting like a fantasy, like his fantasy was being fulfilled. And baby, it was not. You said it was good? Okay, yeah. Yeah, I had to go back and watch that reading like two more times because I was like, whoa. Because sometimes I'm telling you, like sometimes I black out, especially in the pre-recorded readings. Oh my goodness. I I don't know what's going on until I actually go watch it or when I watch it with you guys during the premieres. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, y'all definitely want to watch that reading. Um, and then I pinned that other reading in the comments um, where they were prophesizing all over a divine feminine, like just prophesizing all over you, okay, for the longest. Definitely want to check that out. You said, you be like, damn, they got them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Not damn, they got them. You said, I'm always spot on. Thank you, Skittles. Thank you, thank you. You said you laughed your behind off. <laughs> that am good in that one. That DM, they got him. They got him good. Yeah. He got bamboozled. He got bamboozled. But he... He he was like he he thought it was going to be amazing. It was like it was his fantasy. Okay, it was his fantasy. I'm a, uh okay. I'm gonna link that video in this video as soon as when I end this live stream. I'm gonna go get the link to that video on my other channel and I'm gonna link it in the uh, comments here. Oh, love you too, A Wilson. You said when I was about to cry, you was too. Yeah. You know, y'all made me cry in a video before. you like, y'all made me cry <laughs> in a couple of videos before. Because sometimes when I'm tapping in, it's so much. It's so much. I think the last video where it just got so emotional. Um, what's the name of that video? It's on my other channel. Um, they could never, they, they can never do this to you again. Oh my God. Like, that energy was so thick. This energy was almost as thick as that one. That energy, like, that energy for that video, they can never do this to you again. I think I think that's what it's called. Um, if you have not watched that video, okay, that's the video to watch. Okay? Thank you. Thank you. Peace, get it, piece it together. Thank you so much. Okay? You said, uh, D.K. Feike, you said thoughts on beans. Beans who? <laughs> who is beans? When you say beans, what are we talking about beans? <laughs> Where y'all come from with these questions on beans? Hey, what kind of beans you talking about? Like, I don't even know. <laughs> okay. Thank you guys. <laughs> Thank you, Source is None. I'm like, thoughts on beans? <laughs> like, what kind of beans? <laughs> yeah, no, that's the video to watch. Um, the um they can um they can never do this to you again. That video had me like all in my like feelings. We was tapped in. What? Man. And no matter how much I tried to, like, I was trying to, like, fight the tears. I was trying to fight it. I was trying to fight it. I mean, trying, and it was like, oh, my God, I'm going to cry. Because it just kept getting crazier and crazier. It was so much. It was so heavy. But I think by the middle of that reading, I literally felt like I had a 100-pound brick sitting on my chest. Like, I was like, oh, my God. It was so much. Um... And that's how I started to feel in this reading. Started to feel crushing as we were getting to 
to like the thing. It, it really started to feel crushing. What you said? Huh? I don't know. Okay, yeah. Make sure y'all get the um trolls. Because they are weird. <laughs> They are weird. Make sure y'all get the trolls. You know what I'm gonna do for you guys? I'm gonna do a um since I'm up, okay, and uh we up, so why not? Okay, I think I'm gonna do for you guys is I'm gonna run through every zodiac sign and give you guys the like what you need to know, right? What's today? Today is Saturday, right? We, I was a Saturday. Do y'all want that? Or we, I mean, we could end the live stream. Um, but y'all tell me if y'all want that. Um, let's see. Okay, so we'll do that. So let's see. What do you guys need to know? Let's just go through all the zodiac signs since we here. Okay, we're gonna go through all of them in order. That's the only way I can keep track of my keep myself on track. And we can see what do you need to know. Okay, I might use two decks. Let me see. Two or three. Three decks. I'll use three decks. Okay. So let's start with Aries. Like Aries. Okay, so Aries. Baby, Aries, what do you need to know? Well, first of all, what do you need to know is that it's going to be okay. Okay? With temperance and star energy, Aquarius, Sagittarius energy, Aries is going. Let's see. Huh. Let's see. Are we back? Are we back? We should be back. We're back. Okay. We're back. I think we're back. We back. Yes. We back. Cool. Okay. Aries. Everything is going to be okay. You are protected and you will have peace. So keep that at the forefront of your mind. You got this. You got this, okay? You got it. And you got a wish fulfillment that's protected. You did not lose this wish fulfillment that's protected, okay? Let's see. What do Aries need to know? My beautiful Aries, okay? Aries, somebody regrets a situation, okay? With you, a relationship. This person is in deep regret. Somebody's in sorrow about... The, the the stability between you two, okay? Somebody is in sorrow about the way a relationship went, the way they showed up in this situation. Let's see. What's that five of cups about? What's the five of cups, spirit? The knight of swords. This person, damn. This person that's in regret. Five of cups, knight of swords. Six of pentacles in reverse and the seven of swords. This person regrets being reckless with you. They regret how they handled you. They regret not giving you enough, being one-sided. This person regrets being deceptive. This person was also playing games with you. A whole empress, a whole empress. They were playing games, acting like you were gonna chase after them. This person was like giving, taking away, giving, taking away. Somebody regrets doing all of that with you. It's bothering them big time. Big time, okay? This person is mad. Okay, like, y'all, this person is sad, mad, and everything else. Damn. Okay? What else does Aries need to know? Yeah, I'm telling you, this person is pissed off. Look. We got the King of Swords in reverse, and we got um star energy showing up. Yeah, this person is mad because you've turned your back. You've look, you're have you looking outwards. You're looking towards your future. Devil in reverse, Capricorn energy. This is somebody like somebody is just really upset that you don't want to deal with some toxic bullshit. Honestly, that's just the way it's coming out, Aries, okay? So that's what's going on, okay? That's what's going on, Aries. Okay? That's what's going on. Let me give you a quick general Aries and then we're going to go to Taurus. Okay, yeah. Three of Swords in reverse. You healing? I love it. Page of Wands came out sideways. Somebody wants to send you a message to see if you over them to a cups or somebody don't know how to come in towards you. Look at how that came out. Yeah, because they don't know you rebuilt yourself. You may not even want this opportunity anymore because you've rebuilt yourself. Tower energy. Child, Scorpio. 
Okay, Aries. Let's go. Taurus. Let's get it, Taurus. Okay, that was for you. Y'all listen for your sun, moon, rising, Venus, okay, and seventh house placement. Okay, Taurus. What does Taurus need to know? The, I'm telling you, Taurus, the tower just tried to jump out on your ass, okay? <laughs> Let's see. What does Taurus need to know? Who? You got the emperor in reverse and the king of swords in reverse on the bottom. Damn. Somebody wants to get control of a situation with you. Somebody's mad that they can't control a situation. Emperor is Aries Taurus energy. Okay. That could be your DM. Mad that he lost control. Somebody's mad that they can't control you. Yeah, because you could have called judgment on this person. Yeah, you called judgment. Yeah, this person is this person is like feels like you're gonna free yourself and become very successful. That's actually what it looks like. Come through spirit. Somebody is mad that they can't control your success. Oh, okay. Uh, Taurus. You or this could be a hater. Four two five in the chat, baby. I'm a Taurus. Okay. Somebody is mad that they can't control your success. You freed yourself from something here, from a narcissist grip that kept coming after you with the King of Swords in reverse and the Knight of Swords upright. Could be two people. These people have been laid to rest. These people can't take action on you anymore. These are people who could have even tried to take action on a love situation when it comes to you, or this could be your actual not so divine DM. Okay. But somebody's going to have to watch you win because you have freed yourself and they know that you're going to be successful. It's like you've broken a barrier or something, Taurus here. Like you're going to be recognized. You're going to get recognition. You're going to be success. This is um, successful. This is something that you worked for. Okay. Somebody's mad that they can't control this. You got Aries, uh, Scorpio, Sagittarius energy. Okay. Let's see what's going on here. What's this emperor in reverse? What is this? Yeah, this could have been a third party karmic. Three cups in reverse, a karmic friend, a karmic attachment to your DM. This is somebody who wanted to slow you down, slow you down from getting a wish fulfillment, slow you down from getting love, slow you down from getting an apology, slow you down by trying to make you weak. Could have tried to make you weak and tired with moon magic to where you can't execute none of your plans or all your plans get fucking like, like your plans get sabotaged. Damn, I almost wanted to curse. Damn. Okay, like, hold on. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. Yeah, they had plans to make sure you would be heartbroken. Yeah, you freed yourself from this curse, from this energy, four of pentacles in reverse, six of wands. You get to have your victory and it's public. Your enemies will have to watch you eat, period. Okay, yeah, what's judgment here? Look at that, five of swords in reverse. You defeated these people. I'm telling you, you've defeated somebody here. Taurus, they've been defeated. You're a star. Look how much attention you're getting here. You're a star. You're a healer. You're being acknowledged for doing something that you love, whether that is in your career, your personal life, whether this is a goal you set for yourself, you're getting that and you're getting good news. You're getting good news and a wish fulfillment come through spirit. Somebody wanted to take away this from you. Nine of Pentacles, your ability to take care of yourself, your ability to love on yourself, your beauty. They wanted to steal this from you. Eight of Swords, they wanted to trap this. Come through. I just saw the Hierophant, Taurus Energy. Let's see. What else does Taurus need to know? Let's see. What else does my beautiful need to know? What else? Let's see. Look. Whatever, whatever this is, this wheel of fortune in reverse, this karmic energy, four of cups, it's been rejected. It's been rejected. Whatever they, it's like they tried to put you on a karmic wheel. Taurus, it's been rejected. Don't allow this energy to be projected on you. You're free to move as you please. King of Wands energy. You're free to move as you please. Okay? Period. You're free to do that. 
to move as you please. Okay, Taurus? You freed yourself from something here. You call judgment on this situation. Child, Gemini. Let's see. Let's go to Gemini. Let's go. All right, Gemini. Let's see. What does my beautiful Geminis need to know? Okay, I can't be on here too much longer. Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Whatever delay it is was is, is gone. That delay is gone. Queen of Wands. Queen of Damn. Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Queen of Wands. And you got the chariot at the bottom. You get to move forward quickly. The delays are over with, Gemini. These delays are gone. All this hard work that you've been putting in, all of this that you're doing, you get a new start. Big, full energy. You get to jump into something. For some of you guys, this is a new job, a new source of income, a new project that you'll be working on that you'll be victorious in, Ace of Swords. For some of you, the truth is about to set you free. Okay? Yeah. Child, whoa, let's see. Let's see. Whatever those delays were is over with. What's the Nine of Pentacles in reverse? Seven of Cups, some kind of confusion. I'm telling you the truth that you're about to be vindicated from something here, Gemini. Okay, and you're going to be victorious in something as well. But whatever confusion, the spirit of confusion that was causing delays for you, it's over with. That's being cut through. There is no confusion. There's no confusion about who you are. With the Empress being here, the Sun, Ace of Swords, there's no confusion at all. At all. All that confusion, that, that delays, that's over with. That's over with. We got the Fool and the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, you get a new beginning. You get like you worked hard for this. You put in the work, blood, sweat, and tears. Look at that. When I said you work hard for this, you worked hard for this, Gemini. Nine of Wands. You went through it for this. So now you get exactly what it is that you want. Now you get to move forward to how you want. Because you went through it. You went through it. That's why that fool is there. Come. What else do my beautiful Gemini's need to know? What is that, a confession? What in the world? Look at this. Two of Wands and the Seven of Swords in reverse. Somebody's planning to confess something. Somebody's planning to confess some kind of manipulation. It's going to come out, Gemini. Some kind of spell work somebody was doing. Yeah, look at that. We got Gemini with a magician, Pisces, with this high priestess energy. Will of Fortune in reverse and the tower. You're going to find out about somebody's plans. To send this chaotic energy your way to keep you stuck, to try to give you a setback. Yeah, justice is here. This is going to be justice for you. You're going to be vindicated from something here. Yeah, and you get happiness. And you're going to be able to move forward. Ten of Cups and the Eight of Cups. You're going to be able to move forward here. Okay. Child. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. Who's after Gemini? That would be Cancer. Okay. Let's see. Cancer. Beautiful Cancer energy. What you got? Some of you Cancers, you're going into a whole new relationship. Okay. I just seen that. Okay. Somebody going to try to hold you back from that. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Let's see. All right, Cancer, what does Cancer need to know? What's going on? I'm telling you, you're going into a whole new situation, Cancer, and you're going to be so happy, okay? Full energy in the sun, Aries Leo energy, a lot of fire energy, and you got the two of wands here. You ain't even going to see this come. Whoa, Cancer, oh my God. Oh my God, Cancer. Single Cancer, stand up. <laughs> Single Cancers, stand up. Okay. Our Cancers that's in a little situation that's new, stand up. I don't know what this is. 
cancer, but it's so pretty. I love this cancer. You don't even see. You don't even see this emperor coming. A whole wish fulfillment. Baby, Aquarius, Scorpio, Aries energy. When I take, and look, and it's the food, the sun, so much major iconics. There's only one non-major arcana here. So the energy is huge. Like when I tell you new beginning, you don't feel like a baby cancer. Oh my God, the way this emperor is coming in. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This emperor is coming in like net, like I don't know. This emperor is coming in with the pressure. Okay, cancer, I don't know what you're going to do with this emperor. Because it's like he coming in like click, clack. You're off the market. <laughs> this emperor is coming in like that. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness, yo. Whoa. This emperor coming in with the pressure, Cancer. Oh, but you got something new. If that's not an emperor that's coming in, Cancer, that is something new and that's just so exciting and so big. You're going to be full of joy. You're going to feel like, like a big kid. Like, it's going to be like that. Like, it's just so, it feels so good. Like, I, I am loving the way I feel in your reading right now, Cancer. Okay, what else? What does Cancer have to look forward to? I'm telling you, Cancer. It's coming. Like, look at this. Two of Cups, Chariot, and the Queen of Wands. This person is going to be like, oh my God, the way they're going to dote on you. This person sees you as the Queen of Wands. You are everything. You are an angel. This person coming in. Oh my God, Cancer. I love this. Somebody going to be so stressed out watching this. Nine of Swords, Page of Swords. Somebody is going to be so stressed out because they're going to watch you get this Ace of Pentacles. They're going to watch you get this Ace of Pentacles. Oh, my goodness, Cancer. If that's not an emperor, it's amazing news. It's amazing news. That's like that. That's not an emperor. That's amazing news coming your way. One more for Cancer. Yeah, I'm telling you, something, I'm telling you, and somebody going to come back from the past. Okay, extra note. Somebody coming from the past. This is somebody that's about to be chasing behind you. Whoever this is, okay? Scorpio energy. We got death in reverse, knight of cups, and the eight of cups. Somebody going to be chasing behind you, literally. Lovers, one of your soulmates, baby. Big Gemini energy. Okay, take it how it resonates. Cancer, it looks like you're going to have options. Okay. Let's see. Who's at the Cancer? That'd be Leo. All right, let's get Leo. Let's get the Leo. And then Leo and then I'm going to do a Virgo. And then after Virgo, I'm going to slip to my other tarot deck. Okay, and we'll finish with the last six signs and another tarot deck. Okay, so who Leo? We on Leo. Okay, Leo. What's, what does Leo need to know? Oh, God, Leo. Some kind of player is going to be taking a leap towards you. Jesus Christ. I don't know if this is a new person or an old person. Somebody coming in with this Knight of Wands in reverse energy. I don't trust them. I would never trust the Knight of Wands in reverse. Okay? I don't trust this person. This person is coming towards you. This person is coming towards you to create a lot of confusion. Okay? Seven of Cups. Okay, so watch out for this person that's going to be coming towards you. They could be coming with a lot of sexual energy, okay, a lot of inconsistent, a lot of player energy. This could also be somebody that just creates a lot of confusion, very immature energy. Watch out for that, okay? Let's see. What else for my beautiful Leos, okay? Leos, Knight of Wands in reverse. What's that? What's that? Two of Wands, this person is already planning to come towards you, whoever this is, Leo. Like, they're already planning this. Two of Wands, 
the world in reverse, they're already planning this. They're coming towards you. This is somebody that you could have left out in the cold or this somebody that left you out in the cold. This could be somebody you cut off or however this situation, there was a break in and this person is coming towards you. This person is bringing confusion as well. Just know that. Okay. What's this full energy? Okay. Let's see. Yeah, this person regrets walking away from you or letting you walk away from them. Whoever this is, Leo. Okay, look at that. Five of Cups clarifying the fool. They regret letting you walk away and not chasing after you with this Knight of Cups or something like that. This person is coming in. They're going to come in and tell you they want to tell you the truth. But something is not right with this person. They showed up as a Knight of Wands in reverse. So, uh-uh. Okay. Seven of Cups. There's confusion here. What does Leo need to know about this person? Three of Wands. Yeah, it's like you're going to be expecting the truth, but some, but this person is going to be holding back. Yeah. Seven of Cups. Clarified by the Three of Wands and the Ace of Swords. But then we have the Four of Pentacles. This person is going to be holding back something. Some kind of piece of important information or something like that. Yeah, they just want the relationship. Whoever this said, take it how it resonates. Okay, Leo, somebody is going to be coming back into your life or somebody's coming into your life. This person is a bit shady. They showed up as a knight of wands in reverse. They could be hypersexual. They could be a playboy or something like that. There's an energy here of somebody who regrets not chasing after you or regrets letting you walk away or something like that. Okay, this person feels like they want to come back. They got unfinished business with you or something like that. Okay, so watch out for that, Leo. Okay, yeah, and also something you're passionate about. Looks like there's success there for you. You just need to get it started. So I don't know what that is. What else do Leos need to know? Yeah, I'm telling you, somebody come and playing games. Five of Swords. Watch out for somebody trying to play games with you, Leo. Okay, I'm telling you, look at that. Three of Swords came out sideways. I would not trust this person. This person, I'm telling you, I keep saying the Three of Cups, okay, and the Four of Wands. This could be somebody that's going to put you in a third-party situation or something karmic, okay? Damn, Leo, so you, you ended up with a warning. Okay, let's go to Virgo. Let's go to Virgo, okay? What do we have for my beautiful Virgos? What do we have for my beautiful Virgos? Okay, what do we have? Virgos, what do Virgos need to know? King of Swords in reverse, damn. There's a narcissist here, Virgo. Sheesh, you got a hater. Is this a spiritual hater? God damn. Okay, this could even be a spiritual hater because protection is showing up for you as well. Huh, Virgo, King of Swords in reverse. This is your biggest hater. This is a whole narcissist that's collaborating with three other people, child. Three of Pentacles. Yeah, this is a, this a whole narcissist here. They want to make sure that you don't receive something. But something is being protected for you. Huh. Let's see. Huh. Virgo. Goddamn King of Swords showed up for you. The Tower. Damn. Virgo. Okay. Virgo, a warning. Even a, okay, Virgo, I got to give you a serious warning. Who, Virgo, watch out for somebody trying to break into your house, break into your property or something like that. Like this almost feels close to home. Five of Swords, Knight of Swords, and the Tower and the Four of Wands. Watch out for that side note or somebody trying to damage something in your house or something like that or damage your property or something like that. This King of Swords, this person wants to do something out of nowhere. And they want you to be confused about it. Okay? Seven of Cups. They don't want you to see this coming. Okay? Seven of Cups and the Three of Wands. They don't want you to see this coming. The fact that they're working on creating major delays for you. Okay? Nine of Pentacles. And they're working on creating major delays for you. They don't want you to see this coming. Okay? Let's see. Sheesh, Virgo. Whew. 
Of course, you would be the one with the goddamn bionic hater, Virgo. What, what in the world, Virgo? Huh. Jesus, coming in heavy, coming in crazy. Who? Let's see. What's that five of swords? Ten of cups? Karmic family? Somebody's family member. Coming in, somebody, it doesn't even be somebody trying to sabotage your happiness. Watch out for that. Somebody coming in specifically to sabotage your happiness because they see you letting burdens go. Yeah, Knight of Swords. Yeah, look at them. Seven of Swords in reverse. Somebody's mad that you're like getting away from all of this deceptive energy or somebody's going to be mad that you caught them out. Somebody's mad that you know what they are. Yeah, you know what they are, so they're mad. This could be somebody that even want to confront you about this. Child, what in the world? What's the tower? Just stupid, child. This energy just pissed me off. What's the tower? They're going to regret coming towards you. They're going to regret coming after you. Because you about to send this person home packing or something like that. They're going to regret this. Five of Cups, Six of Swords, and the Three of Pentacles. They're going to be discussing how in the world were you able to move forward. They're going to regret this, what they're doing. These are people taking action on you, period. They're going to regret this. They will regret this. Knight of, uh, King of Swords. Yeah. He's, oh, look at that. He stopped. And look at how that came out. I'm telling you, like, the way that just fell right there. Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Whatever delays this King of Swords in reverse was trying to create for you, that's over with. That's over with. Whatever delay is over with. This King of Swords is stressed out. This King of Swords is stressed out, Virgo. Yeah, because judgment will be called on them. Scorpio, Sagittarius, energy. Yeah, Virgo, they got your energy right there. Queen of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody don't want you to get something. Somebody's trying to block something that's coming in for you. Yeah, they're trying to block this. Something good that's coming in for you. Damn. Who? Yeah, they're definitely trying to block something for you here. Huh. All right. What else do my beautiful Virgos need to know? Yeah, you're going to heal. You're going to heal. Somebody's going to get the message about that. Ten of Swords in reverse. My Virgos are healing. King of Pentacles. That's your energy right there, too. You're getting the money. You're getting the money. You're going to get good about, about some financial opportunity. Yeah, this could be a business. You could be getting ready to start a business. Or you about, or you just did. Yeah, I'm telling you, it's a fine come through spirit. They're going to be mad. Somebody's going to be so mad. Look, he's back again. King of Swords in reverse. Ace of Pentacles to the King of Pentacles. Virgo, they are going to be mad that you get this Ace of Pentacles. They're going to be mad. Okay? All right. Let's go to Libra. Big Libra energy. Let's see. Let's go to Libra. Let's go to Libra. Okay. Virgo, your, your um, little mini reading was like, oh my God, that was so much. Okay. Okay, Cancer, you had the best reading. <laughs> okay. All right, let's see. Let's go to Libra. Make sure y'all listen for your sun, moon, uh, rising, Venus, and seventh house placement. Okay. Libra, seven of cups fell out in reverse. There's going to be some confusion that's cleared up here. Somebody's going to be able to take action because of this confusion that's cleared up. Let's see. Somebody's coming in to clear up some confusion with you. Okay. So we got the seven of cups in reverse, page of wands. We got this king of cups, and we got the nine of wands. Somebody is going to come in to clear up some confusion with you. It could be this King of Cups. Okay, Libra, this King of Cups wants to come in and clear up some confusion with you. You're going to get a message that's going to clear up confusion. Let's see. We got the Magician. Yeah, we got the Magician. I'm telling you, it's this King of Cups. This King of Cups is manifesting you. When the Magician and the King of Cups, he's manifesting you. 
Okay, what's going on here? Yeah, somebody is trying to get control of their emotions for you. There's a queen of pentacles here who's not going to be too happy about this at all. Let's see. There's a queen of pentacles there. She has, she's going to be stuck. She's going to be stuck because, okay, Whew. Libra, there is a masculine that wants to come in and clear something up with you. There is a queen of pentacles in reverse who's going to be stuck. So this is going to really bother her. Like she is going to be very upset because there's a cycle that she wants to repeat that she can't repeat. Okay. She's going to be really, really stuck on this. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Libra, what's going on here? Hierophant in reverse. Whoever this person is, Taurus energy, they're going to be bringing you in some information. You don't trust this person, but they are coming in with solid information. Okay, whoever this is that's coming in to clear this up. Okay, why the magician and the king of cups? Six of cups in reverse, king of swords. This masculine, oh, okay, so when you, wherever you guys left off at, you felt like he was cold as hell. You felt like he was cold as hell. This masculine wants to come in different. Yeah, yeah, look at that. He wants to come in. He's been watching very salty when the page of swords in reverse four wands. This is a past relationship or something like that where this masculine was not being loving. Sugar, move. Would you move, sugar? Like Jesus. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. Okay, what's the Queen of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles? Queen of Pentacles in reverse, Four of Pentacles. Somebody gonna be stuck on it. This is gonna be a shock for her. She is going to be very upset that this person comes in and clears this up with you. Okay, so Libra, there is a masculine that's going to come in to clear up a situation with you. And this Queen of Pentacles in reverse, yes. Um, who said that? Matthew Nielsen? This person is going to be bitter as hell. They're going to be shocked that somebody wants to heal a situation with you. Yeah, somebody regrets playing a lot of mind games with you. This is going to be somebody that wants to heal something with you. This could be a friend, a lover. Somebody's coming in. This person, you don't really trust this person like that. This person is coming in to clear up a situation. And somebody's going to be so mad that they're doing that. Okay, let's see. Final messages for Libra so we can move on. Four of Wands, you could be going into a new relationship. You could be getting a house or something like that. Yeah, I'm telling you, this person is so mad. Somebody is going to be so mad because they're, they're the ones who created this confusion. Okay? Seven of Cups, King of Swords in reverse, Four of Wands. This person, somebody's going to be so mad because you were never supposed to see the truth. You were never supposed to know the true plans. Two of Wands, Two of Swords. You could be seeing two, two, seven of Swords. You are never supposed to know the true plans. So this person is going to be mad when this person come in and clear this up with you. Okay. Child, let's get to Scorpio. Scorpio. Okay. Y'all make sure y'all watch Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North. No. Okay. We've been on for a minute. Okay. Let's see. Let's try to get this going. My beautiful Scorpios, 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 Scorpios. Two of Cups in reverse. Two of Cups in reverse? Oh, okay. A partnership broke there. Let's see. What's going on with that? You're healing from a partnership that broke up or you're healing from a partnership that ended? Yeah, because of a queen of... Damn, that's who you were with? Okay, so Scorpio, you're healing. Damn, who, who, who are you attached to? Queen of Swords in reverse, Nine of Swords in reverse, Two of Cups in reverse. You're healing from a Queen of Swords in reverse. You're healing from a master gaslighter. You're healing from somebody who refused to take accountability. You're healing from somebody that's more concerned about winning an argument than actually getting an understanding. You're healing from somebody. Yeah, this is like an overbearing, narcissistic, like masculine energy. Like, what is this? Okay, we got the tower, um, emperor energy, seven of wands. What is this? Damn. Okay. 
What is that? Hell. Okay. Let me clarify that Queen of Swords in reverse first. Queen of Swords in reverse? We know she's a liar. Of course she's a goddamn liar. Seven of Swords. Okay, so somebody who um told a lot of lies. This person is going to see you recover or something like that. This person told a, a insane amount of lies. This person was going on a rampage slandering you. Yeah, they wanted to create confusion about you, two of pentacles. They wanted this king of wands to be confused about giving to you. They wanted to create an illusion. Yeah, so there's some, wow. Okay, huh. Okay, nine of, wand, nine of swords in reverse. Let's see. Nine of swords in reverse, you recovered. Here, somebody was uh, trying to slander you. Yeah, nine of swords in reverse. You recovered from all of this talk. Eight of wands, lovers, four of cups. I'm telling you, this is like, whoever this queen of swords is in reverse, this is somebody that was slandering you all over the place. Okay. Oh, sorry about that, you guys. Whoever that Queen of Swords is in reverse, that's somebody that was slandering you like crazy. This person wanted you to lose your mind based off of the gossip that they was putting out about you. This was to burden your soul contract or soul contracts. Gemini energy, Ten of Wands is here. They want to make sure you don't get a wish fulfillment. They wanted you to be rejected. But look at how you rebuilt yourself with the tower in reverse. Child, Scorpio energy. Two of cups in reverse. What do my beautiful Scorpios have to look towards? Wow, for some of you guys, a reconciliation, okay? Yeah, or for some of you guys, you could have a DM that's in a karmic relationship, third-party situation that he's about to be freeing himself from a third-party situation. And some there's a pissed off karmic masculine with the emperor in reverse, king of wands in reverse. Damn. So there's a karmic feminine and a karmic masculine that was causing a lot of issues here. Okay. Huh. I'm telling out of jealousy, straight up. Nine of cups in reverse. Who oh, these people are going to be so mad. Because here you are, nine of swords in reverse, and you revealed yourself. Okay. God, Lee Scorpio, I know you resonate with the last 10 readings. Okay? With that coming out for you. Okay? With that coming out for you. Okay. So that was like, yo. What else? Two more for Scorpio. Yeah, it's like you're going to put in work to push through a situation here. Nine of Wands, Eight of Pentacles, you're going to be putting in work to push through a situation after some kind of separation, some kind of fall with the Four of Wands in reverse, some kind of fall in your stability. You're going to put in the work to make it through a situation here. Okay, let's see. Well, who we on? Sagittarius. Baby, what do we got from my beautiful Sagittarius? What do you need to know? Damn. Damn. Oh, my God. It's the fact that my eyes went to this Ten of Swords. All right, Sagittarius. Let's do this. Devil. Capricorn. Okay. What you got going on? The Magician. Six of Pentacles. Sagittarius, somebody is paying in occultists, okay? They're paying in occultists. We'll see what they're paying the occultists for, but somebody is paying somebody for some kind of work here, okay? So, or somebody's paying a master manipulator or something like that. We got four of, look at this. We got two of wands and four of swords in reverse. They could be paying somebody to not make peace with you. They could be paying for something to be slow for you. They're paying for you to recover slowly, whether that is spiritually, financially, physically, emotionally, they're paying for this. 
What else? This, this, now, this energy here just like took me all the way. Yeah, this is somebody who wants you to be stuck and trapped. Okay, four of pentacles. You, Sagittarius, you need to be in prayer. You need to be doing your return to sin. And you need anybody energy that feel off to you. You just need to separate yourself for them, from them, period. The way this is. What else does Sagittarius need? No, I'm telling you, it's all bad. It's all bad. Like the way this is, it's like, ugh. Look at this. You got nine of swords and the and the um knight of cups. Damn. Somebody's coming in with a lot of turmoil. Somebody's coming in with a lot of emotions towards you. But it feels like somebody's gonna be somebody might need help coming towards you. For some of you, Sagittarius, this somebody who need help could come towards you. Because they're like battling spell work or something like that. Take it how it resonates. Or somebody is throwing all of this energy your way and somebody's going to come towards you. I don't know how I feel about this person's motives. Let me see. Huh. Sagittarius. Ten of Pentacles. Upright. You have an ex approach you. You can have an ex approach you here. Love is in reverse at the bottom over there. Gemini energy. This person could get messed up. They could have gotten messed up by this queen of wands in reverse. They were working with her or something like that. Or somebody wishes they would have came towards you with more love instead of working with this queen of wands in reverse. That queen of wands in reverse who could be throwing all this energy your way. Okay, come to the spirit. Why? Okay, hold on. Why does Sagittarius need to know about this? Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Page of Pentacles, King of Cups. This is like somebody was making some kind of offer here or something like that. It's like somebody didn't want you to get this offer, this Queen of Pentacles in reverse. She wanted this King of Cups to accept her offer. What's confusing here is that there's two masculines here. Sagittarius, take this how this resonates. There's two masculines and a feminine energy here. But this feminine energy is the one that's spending money. There's a queen of pentacles in reverse spending money. To cause like a delay or something like that. What's the outcome of this? Because child, hold on. Oh, let's see. I'm about done with this, Sagittarius. This is ugly. Eight of Wands in reverse. Damn, it backfires. Whoop, well, there's that. Okay, Sagittarius. Eight of Wands in reverse. Okay. Whoop, that's a lot. Stay in your prayer. Do your return to senders. You are fine. Okay, this is going to backfire on that person, okay? Who leave? All right, where we at? Capricorn, Capricorn, let's see, let's see, y'all getting like a miniature all signs reading right now, sun moon, make sure y'all watch y'all sun moon rising, Venus north node, okay, well Venus uh, seventh house placement, I said north node, so north node, uh, Capricorn, you must need to look at your north node for me to say that, okay, Page of Wands, they got a message coming in. You got a message, a love message coming in. Okay? Page of Wands and the Ace of Cups. I just heard, now I see you. An ex, love is in reverse, justice in reverse. This person is under karmic justice. Six of Wands, this person got embarrassed. But they see you now. Child, wait. Don't, oh my God. I don't, I, I don't know how I feel about this energy. I, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, we're gonna see. Cause this this page of wands already getting in my getting on my nerves. <laughs> Cause it's coming in as a page. <laughs> okay, let's see. What's up? Page of wands. I'm telling you they was getting on my nerves. I knew they were. I knew they were. Look at them. Page of Wands is the Knight of Wands in reverse. Okay, so this is a player. This is a playboy. This is somebody that was inconsistent. This could be somebody that was hypersexual. This person is coming in. Yeah, they coming in because it, it, they're coming in because something about you is peaceful. There is no fight when it comes to you. 
It's like you don't um, give them drama or something like that. It's like wherever they went, maybe they thought the grass was greener somewhere else. It was a lot of fighting. But with you, seven of wands in reverse, eight of wands, it's like they get to just come straight in or something like that. There's no fighting. There is it's peaceful. Oh goodness. Let's see. Sagittarius. Not Sagittarius, Capricorn. God leap. Okay, yeah. Uh, Capricorn, somebody might have a Sagittarius placement. Let's see. What's going on? What else does Capricorn need to know? Yeah, somebody, they coming in to make peace with you because this person is so unhappy. The sun in reverse, Leo energy. They're so unhappy. Five of wands in reverse. They're so unhappy. Yeah, they thought they were going to get a wish fulfillment. They thought they were going to have peace. Now they're drowning in their emotion. This is somebody that want to detach from the devil, king of swords. They're thinking logically now. They're thinking logically now. Yeah, this is somebody who want to free themselves. Four of Pentacles in reverse. This is somebody who want to free themselves now. Let's see. Capricorn. What else? What else with the Five of Wands? Empress in reverse. This person is insecure now. They're insecure now. Whoever this King of Swords is, is insecure now. Who was acting cold and acting like... They they know what they want or like you like your loss or so I don't know why I'm getting it. Okay, this person towards Libra energy. This person is very insecure now. This person want to come in and make peace with you because where they are, there it's like nothing but fighting or something like that. Or so this person is like they want to make up with you. Whoever this is, take it how it resonates. This is somebody that didn't put in the work. They didn't put in the work to work things out with you. They didn't put in the work before. Now they want to come in. But see, that's how everything ended with the death card being here. Scorpio energy. That's how this person ended up being released. That's how you, this contract ended up being released because this person refused to put in the necessary work. Now that this person is facing a lot of drama, they want to come in and they want to make peace with you. But I don't like that this person is still coming in as the page of wands upright with the knight of wands in reverse let's see i don't like that but i do like the fact that they see where the piece is okay let's see page of wands knight of wands in reverse what's that <laughs> look at that seven of pentacles queen of swords in reverse this is somebody who wasted a lot of time. You could feel like you could feel like this person was trying to waste your time or you were waiting on this person like to do better. Do better. This person could have found themselves with the Queen of Swords in reverse. Okay? Or you this person you could have felt like this person started becoming cutthroat, ruthless or something like that. There could have been major communication breakdowns or something like that. Knight of Wands in reverse. What's that? Yeah, I'm saying this person was like deceptive. This person was deceptive. This person was not showing up the way they were supposed to show up. This person could have actually lied to you with the Seven of Swords, Page of Pentacles in reverse. You could have been waiting for this person to finally come in and tell you the truth. This person is drowning in their emotions now because judgment has been called on this person, Capricorn. Okay, with Scorpio, Sagittarius energy here, King of Cups in reverse, this person could be crying. This person sees that you've rebuilt yourself, that you're tired of the confusion that they was bringing in. Sheesh. Let's see. Let's hurry up and get through this. So I get the... um. Aquarius and Pisces energy. I got to get to it quick, too. Oh, goodness. Okay, let's see. Five of Wands and the Empress. Let's see. What else? What else does Capricorn need to know? Yeah, somebody want to come in and make peace with you. It's like that's the only way they could get out of their head. Eight of Swords in reverse. That's the only way they could get out of this mental anguish. That's the only, and then they need to get away from this Queen of Swords in reverse. This person is so burdened with the ten. I want to come in and make peace with you. Okay, let's get to Aquarius. Let's get, let's get it. Let's get to Aquarius. Okay, you say you're blown away. I used to do all signs readings all the time. Okay, I'll throw them in sometime for you guys on these live streams. Okay, 
Let's see. All right. Aquarius, we got to do this quick. I'm going to try to give you your full Aquarius, but I might end up talking a little fast for Aquarius and Pisces because I might have to um, jump off. So let's see. Aquarius, what you need to know that something isn't over, something that has been taking forever with the Knight of Pentacles down. <laughs> something isn't over and the world. That's your energy too, Aquarius. So let's see. Let's see. Something isn't over, Aquarius. Something you, you done healed from. Somebody's still coming in. <laughs> they coming in. Okay? Three of Wands and the Magician, they coming in. <laughs> Something you done healed from. It's not over. <laughs> it's not over. Okay, you probably been to block this person. You're very defensive from this person, but this person is in regret with Five of Cups being here. They regret it. They regret it big time. Oh, goodness. Okay, let's see. What's that world in reverse, child? Something is unfinished. It's unfinished. Some Oh, somebody can't heal. Somebody can't heal. Okay, come through. Somebody wants to heal, but they can't heal because they want to come out of the cold. With you, five of pentacles in reverse. Page of cuffs in reverse. They don't know how to come in and apologize. This king of wands. Somebody can't heal. This is somebody who want to come out of the cold. Damn. Okay. Let's see. What else, Aquarius? What else? Like, they literally can't heal. I'm trying to tell you. They want to heal so bad. Three of swords in reverse. This is all up underneath the world in reverse. Look at that. All these confirmations of somebody wanting to heal and they can't. Oh, come through. Somebody didn't realize it would be so much work to get over you. Wow. Okay. Let's see. Seven of Wands and the Five of Cups. Knight of Swords. I'm telling you, this person wants to come towards you. Love is in reverse, Gemini energy. And then we got the Knight of Swords. I'm telling you, this person wants to come towards you. They don't want things to be laid to rest. And we four swords in reverse also talks about not healing. Somebody is so mad that they can't heal. This is somebody that want to block you out of their mind. They so mad. <laughs> That's just hilarious. This person is so mad that they can't heal. Okay. What you did to this person, Aquarius? <laughs> what did you do? You and that like ill nana on them or something. <laughs> oh my goodness, boy. I'll tell you what you get a taste of. It's hard. Oh, let me see what fell. Because that might be the most you get caught. Communication. I'm telling you, this person is coming in with communication. Whoever this is, this is a person that's been under judgment in reverse for the longest. When I tell you, look, what fell? Everyone's communication. Look at this. The hermit, chariot energy, page. Because this person is researching, studying, trying to figure out how to come in as quick as possible with this page of cups. Somebody wants to come in with an apology. They are tired of being under judgment. Somebody is so tired of being under judgment. It's like, it's killing them. And they're so mad that they can't get you out of their head. They could be thinking you put a spell on them. Okay. Yeah, God won't let him rest <laughs> at all. He ain't getting no rest. <laughs> God won't let him rest at all. Baby, let's get the Pisces. Okay, Pisces. My beautiful Pisces. Let's get the Pisces. I love y'all. Okay, let's see. Well, go ahead. Let's see. Comfy spirit. What we got for Pisces? What Pisces need to know? Whoa. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, Pisces. Ace of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. Oh my God. Either you're going to be happy because a windfall of money is coming in, or this is the whole thing. True love, a solid foundation, 10 of pentacles, solid family, solid 
everything. This is solid. And you've been through so much. There's a queen of wands that's going to be struggling. Oh, come through spirit. I was looking at this two of pentacles in reverse. And I was like, damn, somebody going to get dropped. While Pisces is getting this big old Ace of Cups and this Ten of Pentacles, now we know who's going to get dropped. Nine of Wands, Queen of Wands in reverse, and the Tower. There is Queen of Wands in reverse. This karmic feminine energy is going to be shocked, stressed, and pressed when this Ace of Cups and this Ten of Pentacles come towards you. Okay? She may actually end up getting dropped. Okay? Somehow. Okay. Let's see. What else do we have? Oh, Pisces. What do my beautiful Pisces need to know? What else do Pisces need to know? Six of Swords. Okay, you're moving forward. You're moving forward here. I love that. Yeah. You're moving forward. Somebody can't control you moving forward. Somebody can't control you moving forward. They wanted to burden you. They wanted you to be weak. Yeah. Ten of Wands. And Leo energy, strength in reverse. Somebody can't control you moving forward. They wanted you to be weak. They were waiting to make sure that they left you, laid you to rest. But instead, you showed up with this six of wands. Come through spirit. Who the F is this? Damn. Okay. Mm -mm. What in the world? What in the world? Ace of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles, baby. You get everything. You're going to be so happy here. Like, ear to ear, smiling. You're going to be so happy. You're Okay, this is not over with for you. I don't know if somebody was trying to do something so that you give up on love or you give up on happiness. It's not over for you. First of all, when I say you have everything coming in, higher fine upright, Ten of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups, Baby, strong Taurus energy. You have everything coming in. You worked for this. You put the energy out there for this. You poured love outwards abundantly for this. And that's why you get this Ten of Pentacles. And there's some salty people that's going to be behind this. That's going to be upset. Because that Emperor in reverse, somebody wants to control this. And they can't control you moving on with your life. They can't control you moving forward. They can't control you moving up. They can't control you. Let's see. Emperor in reverse. Ace of Wands in reverse. I'm trying to tell you. Ace of Wands in reverse. Is this somebody that wish they could repeat a cycle with you? Or is this somebody that wants you to keep doing the same old things? Be the old you? Put you in your old ways? Somebody wants things to be how it used to be. Yeah. Or something like that. This somebody that wanted you on a repetitive cycle that goes absolutely nowhere. You get to move forward from this Ace of Wands in reverse given by this Emperor. Yeah, with the Ten of Swords. You get to move forward from all of this pain and betrayal that was coming in with this energy of this person that tried to trap you in an Ace of Wands in reverse situation. Look at this. Somebody wanted to keep you in an insecure state in fear. It's like somebody always wanted you to be afraid that they're sleeping with somebody else. I don't know who that is for. Ugh, that masculine could go to hell. Child, Pisces Cancer energy here. That's your energy with the moon. They wanted you insecure so they could stay in this Knight of Wands energy. Damn, you get to move free from that. You get to move forward. That's why, ooh, that's a narcissist for real. Because they wanted to break you, Pisces. They wanted to literally break you. Because that's the only way you could keep somebody on an ace of wands in reverse. They wanted to break you in for you to have permanent insecurities. Huh. Come through, spirit. Okay. Strength in reverse. Ten of wands. They wanted you so weak and burdened. Leo energy. That's what they wanted. That's what they wanted. Child, what's going on? Six of Pentacles. They wanted you to be begging for them. Six of Pentacles and the Eight of Cups. They wanted you to be so weak, so burdened, begging for them to come back. Wow. Mm-mm-mm. What's the outcome? I'm tired of this fool right here. Okay. I'm tired of this fool right here. Whoever this is, Pisces. Ugh. I'm tired of this fool right here. 
Child. Mm-mm. Pisces energy showing up. Hey, man. Yeah. I'm tired of them. For real. Like, this person here is like, huh. Let's see. What's going on here? What's the outcome? Child. It's disgusting. Page of Swords in reverse, they gonna watch you and they gonna struggle in their own goddamn insecurities. Somebody could put them in a third party situation and they're gonna be sitting here watching you in their own damn insecurities, jealous and mad. Why you have this 10 of cups? What's wrong with these people? Yeah, this person is gonna be obsessed with you getting a 10 of cups. Watch out for this person trying to mess up your 10 of cups because look at them. You'll get the 10 of cups and all. All of a sudden, this devil shows up with an apology. I'll be damned. I'll be damned. Child, what's going on? What else for Pisces? Because, baby, that's a mess. Yeah, you're free from this nonsense. And this person's still going to be talking about you behind the scenes, Pisces. you you just going to have to not give a fuck. Okay, you just gonna have to not give a damn because they still gonna be talking about you behind the scenes. Okay, even after you done freed yourself, they still running their mouth. They still stuck on the past. They still trying to create illusions. They want you to lose. They're mad. They're mad that you have true love. Two of Cups and the Queen of Cups, you freed yourself. This person is going to be salty, possibly for life. Look at this person. Don't this look like a salty person right here? King of Swords in reverse. Five of Cups, they're salty, they're bitter. This is Kathy Bates off of Misery. This person is a mess, and they're going to be like that because they swore that they had you on this Ace of Wands in reverse cycle. This person could have even tried to do sex magic on you. Oh, my God. Huh, Pisces, oh, you survived that person there. You're a survivor. You survived that person there, baby. Because that person was strategically trying to break you emotionally in half. Okay? That energy just felt heavy. Okay? All right, you guys. It's 3.03. Huh. I'm going to go to sleep. I'm going to go wash my behind and go to sleep. What y'all got going on? Okay. Thank you, guys. Did y'all like the all signs? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Y'all like the all signs? I'm going to start adding that for you guys. Because, um, yeah, I'm going to start adding that for you guys. And I think what I'm going to do is um, I might actually, like, download this video and and snip that end of the video and then re-upload that as an all signs. Okay. But yeah, I'm glad you guys like it though. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I, I used to do the all signs all the time. Especially um when I used to go live on TikTok. So I'm glad you like it. Thank you. What did I got a dimple? Do I have a dimple? I think I just have extra deep laugh lines. I don't know if it's like a real dimple. <laughs> he says, do I have a dimple? <laughs> do I have, like, he said, she said, I have uh, the cutest dimple. I, th I think they're just like deep laugh lines. I might be old or something. <laughs> okay, because y'all know I'm tapping on 40 now. <laughs> You see? Oh, okay, okay. You know, I be trying to... You know, I, I be so confused. My daughter, she is the cutest dimple right here. I'm like, why well, don't I have that? Oh, I do? <laughs> yeah, JC, I might be old. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Okay, you say you be 43... I'm 37. I'm about to be 38. I'll be 38 next month. I told y'all I'm a Taurus. Okay. I am flying out to Chicago for my birthday next month. I'm going to the um the Nicki Minaj concert. I cannot wait. Like, I can't wait. I'm, I'm just going to be like so. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> I've always wanted to see her live. So that's what I did for my um 
for my 38th birthday, I'm flying me, my daughter, and my niece out. Uh, and we're going to Chicago to go see Nikki on her sold out tour. I can't wait. I cannot wait <laughs> to go see her. I'm going to have a great time. Let's see. You say you just turned 35? You say you just turned 35? Okay, okay. I know. When I turn, I don't know. I feel like 35, 37, I still feel the same. But I'm like, I'm tapping on 40. It's coming soon. 31? Okay, okay. I feel like most of my viewers are in their 30s. I'm going to upload so many videos while I'm out at the tour, you guys, so y'all could like be there with me. <laughs> Let's see. You said be safe. Yeah, no, definitely. I'm always gonna be safe. You said you ain't 38. I'm 37. I'm about to be 38 in less than a month. In less than a month. Okay. In, in my head, I'm just tapping on 40. You said 40s is the new 20s. I know that's right. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. You said that I'm talented and you love my energy. 29 forever. I know that's right. Yeah, I'm going to have so much fun. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Ramona. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> I'm going to have so much fun. I'm going to be like, a, I'm going to be like a big kid. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, the vibe is going to be, I already know it's going to be high because it's, I think the, it's, Gonna be probably what almost 20,000 people there and it's sold out. Like, ooh. <laughs> I don't know. We got really good seats though. We got really good seats. So I'm just hoping that she'll hand me the microphone so I can act up because I want her to snatch the microphone from me. <laughs> I want her to hand me the microphone so I can sing the wrong song. <laughs> so she can get <laughs> Because they've been doing that to her lately. The barbs have been messing with her. So every time she hand them the microphone, they sing the wrong song. And then she snatched the, phone, the microphone from them. So I like, so when she hand me the microphone, I'm just going to sing something crazy. I don't care. <laughs> okay. I might bust out in a Whitney Houston tune. <laughs> yes, we still popping. Okay. Yes, old enough to old enough to know better and young enough to do it again, but do it better, right? <laughs> a younger like we were, we're young enough to do it again, but old enough to not care, right? <laughs> That's what it is. Okay, right, right. Let's see. Okay, you said you said people use the energy from concerts for their magic, desperate suckers. Oh. I don't know what the heck. You know, I I remember that Travis Scott situation. I don't know what the hell he had going on at that concert. It was like demons floating through. Whew, child. I don't know what that was. It ain't going to be none of that. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I'm going to be dancing my behind off. Okay? Yes, dancing my tail off. I'm going to enjoy myself. Okay, you guys. Hey, Elevated Taurus, I thought you were sleeping. Okay, you guys. All right, you guys, y'all got me up so late. Okay, I need to, uh, Elevated Taurus, I finished watching that Netflix show. The, what is it, Three Body Problem? Tin Foil Hat. Y'all, I am a Tin Foil Hat conspiracy, like, theorist. Like, that is me. So I love, like, any, like all of that. I love alien movies, invasions, like all of that. Like I love all of that. Mysteries and stuff like that. But any t anything tinfoil, okay, where you need a tinfoil hat, that is me. Like <laughs> I sent my friends a video of this guy who had a microwave on his head and the tinfoil hat in it. I said, that's me. That's me. And I'm like, y'all gonna regret not listening to you said watch the movie Frailty. Okay, I haven't watched it. You said we related. Yeah, that's me. Listen, I've been telling people about these aliens for years. Okay, y'all keep. Okay, keep ignoring me. Okay, when one of these grays start walking down the block, you're going to be like, ah, oh, shit. I should have listened to Mermaid. I should have listened to Mermaid. And y'all know I'm in um, South Florida, so we had that sighting at the mall. 
in Miami where it's still crazy. <laughs> okay, you say you love talking about that. <laughs> yeah, we do. Elevated Toy, she's my sister in real life. And she knows, she'll tell you, like, I am a tinfoil hat. I am like the prime minister of tinfoil hatters. Okay. <laughs> that is me. You said the advocate. Okay. Okay. The advocate. I need to watch that. Okay. Hold on. Somebody said, what was the other thing? You said frailty. I need a, I need a pen. Y'all need to comment that in the comment section. Okay, you said, so wow, it wasn't a fight. There was no video. There was no video. They tried to say that what was going on at the mall in Miami, they said it, they said it was a fight, even though that was more law enforcement than we had ever seen come out. Ever. Ever. That's more law enforcement than came out when them buildings collapsed. Okay, we had a whole, like, I think it was an apartment like building collapse, it wasn't that many law enforcement. Like every agency showed up. And there's, when has there ever been a fight in the last five years of social media where people aren't recording, where teenagers, people, adults aren't recording? There isn't one video of the fight. There was no fight. Like none. That I know for a fact. There was no fight. At all. Okay. You said uh, Nisi Nash. People tell me that all the time. Okay. They tell me that all the time. You said since I went live the first time I've been all in your phone conversation. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> You said, right, it was so overkill. Just crazy to hear someone from out there. I know, right? <laughs> Let's see. I love going live with you guys. Let's see. You said, like, your phone is tapped. Yeah, I got all y'all phone tapped. <laughs> y'all so crazy. <laughs> oh, my goodness. You so crazy. Y'all so crazy. Oh, I had said on my... um video that I uploaded on my other channel um, that um, premium members, if you are a member on my website, when I open memberships for this channel, you don't have to pay for a membership on this channel. If you're a member on my website, if you have a premium membership on my website, um, I am going to reach out to all my premium members for your YouTube screen name uh, so I could gift you a membership. I'm going to gift you a membership. Um, so that way, um, you get all of the perks. Okay. That way you get all of the perks. I just got to figure out how I'm going to manage it because people cancel their premium membership. So I'm going to have to be able to cancel it on, you know, on the channel too. But what I don't want, um, is if you're already paying to be a member on my website, you're not going to have to pay to be a member on this channel too. OK, because this channel will get the um, members only live streams and stuff. So I do know that one of the perks for the members only that I'm going to do on this is y'all seen how I did the all signs reading um, at the end. That will be something that I do for members only on this channel. So. But I got to set it all up. I got to set it all up. I'm going to do that at some point, probably tomorrow or whatnot. And um so yeah, so if you're a member on the website, you don't need to be a member. You don't have to pay for a membership on this channel. I'll just give it to you. And then if you're on this channel, that's um, that's good because this channel will have perks. They'll have you'll have the all signs. You'll have private live streams, and you'll also have all of the exclusive premium videos that the members on my website get. But you just won't get the extended readings. The members on my website they get all the extended readings. Okay, so anyway, I will catch you guys later, okay? I will catch you guys later. Let me see. Let me see. You said last movie, The Manchurian. I watched that. I watched that. You know what movie was crazy? Um, I forget the name of it. 
Oh, goodness. It was with Jim Carrey, and his whole life was a TV show. I thought that movie was crazy. Okay? Because sometimes I feel like that's what we living in. <laughs> but anyways, um, I will catch you guys later. Bye. You said Project Blue, but put it in the comments. Put the movie names in the comments, please. Okay, yes, Truman Show. Thank you. All right, bye, you guys. Y'all won't let me go. I got to go. Bye. <laughs>